Let's let's get this train wreck on the road. Yeah. Well, well more of a shipwreck. Ah, oh, perfect. Yeah. So Hello, everybody. Congratulations to both of you. Yeah. Hello. Actually, that, that was perfect. Welcome to uh, this this uh, week's edition of Broken Crown. We are joined oh, again, God, as usual, by my co-host uh, Spoon, who is not in a good mood because he's been building a new computer and it's not been going great. Uh, hello, Spoon. <laughs> Fuck you. All right. Yeah, you can see the kind of show we're, we're in for tonight. And uh, because Spoon's in a terrible mood, I did ask uh, Scrump to come and join us as well. Hello, Scrump. <laughs> I'm not in a terrible mood, but I can be. Uh... There you go. We can all <laughs> become in a terrible mood. Talk, and I'm basically going to say next to nothing. <laughs> no. Hooray! <laughs> It's fine, I can make up for all the talking I didn't do on the last stream I was on. <laughs> uh, anyway, he hello, yes, hello folks. Uh, I'll actually do some minor shilling this time. For those of you who don't know me, I am Scrump Monkey of the Scrump Monkey YouTube channel. Um, and uh, you can find my big gay videos over there. So, <laughs> so, so yeah, have, can... uh, have, have a gander. Yeah, I actually got to put that in the description. I forgot to. Oh. Well, I'll do it before. I'll, I'll hang on. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. There's no. There's no rush. There's no rush. I, I don't. I don't need to be shilled immediately. Um, the shillings can wait. We're going to do a video where we basically insult the right wing and say why there's why they're shit. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Apparently, apparently, I'm loud. A little bit, I, I think. Yeah. All right. I could just turn you down a bit. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're on two hundred percent from me for some bizarre reason. <laughs> oh, okay, All right. why? That, that oh, okay. Why. So apparent, apparently, you've uh, ear raped everybody. Uh... Why? Why you... <laughs> okay, this is really weird because this is a fresh Discord. So why are you on two hundred? And why is Aiden on one forty? That's totally random on me. So that's very really odd. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah. Sorry, guys. Uh, we're running through. We go through uh, Spoon's audio. So. Sorry, why are we screaming? I don't know. <laughs> Scrump scare. Um, well, I, I have new audio equipment, so if I'm unusually loud or whatever, that, that might be the reason why. <laughs> also, there's a All right. there's a giant bunch of shiny things in front of me, and every time I talk, the entire room is like lit up. It looks really weird. Hmm. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, the plus oh, yeah, side, it's the making my recording a lot easier. Yeah, I got I got new audio equipment. Sorry, right. it sounds right, like I'm... yes. From the chat, sounds like a pretty good. Just tune yourself up, turn yourself up a little bit, Spoon, and then we should. Yeah, turn yourself up a little bit because you're you you are slightly mumbly at the moment due to your uh, depression. Let's say technology based pain. Yeah, we f we feel your pain though. You've oh, gone through some like... shit. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, Spoon has been through some real shit. He he is justifiably uh uh full of malaise. Yes. I hope everyone. He's a. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Thanks, thanks Spoon. We'll, we'll bring Spoon in to do like ER lines for us if you want. Sure. So oh, speaking of people God. dying, at least a couple people are missing uh, because uh, the Key Bridge collapsed uh, in the Chesapeake Bay Harbor, which is, of course, uh, kind of where I'm from, where I grew up from the age of 11 to 18, at, le at least where I lived, Baltimore City, uh, a real shithole. Uh, but the Key Bridge is a, a major bridge. I, I've driven over it countless times in my life and a, a big indian freighter i mean i think it's it's called the bali i believe that it, it it's not its first issue we'll get into this just smacked right into it so the other night and caused this enormous bridge to collapse i should say that they used to be yeah like when i was a kid it used to be everyone would say you got a dollar for the bridge you got a dollar for the bridge um it's now like ten dollars and has been for years so they yeah, no, it's tech. not. Now it's free. It's true. Now it is free. You no longer have to have a dollar or ten dollars for the bridge, because the bridge is gone. Um, yeah, do not redeem. Do not redeem bridge. Exactly. But here's what happened. If you've not seen the footage from it, it's pretty insane. Uh, you can see also that the the power is going out in this thing. Uh, there's also like appears to be some black smoke coming off of it at different points. Uh, and is... this is one angle. But look at the turn. If that they totally and there's deliberate. you can see from other, it, I mean maybe, but they would have just passed right by that pylon, That's but then they I'm turned directly into it. I mean, looking pretty suspicious to me. I don't know. And I'll, I I'll just tell think. You. Go ahead. I think everything's collapsing. Is what's happening, um, literally and figuratively. 
Yeah. Also, that's just what fuel oil burning looks like, I'm sure. afraid. Fuel oil is just shitty, so... Um, there's been a lot of conspiracies about this. And what's... Uh, you're from you're from Beemore. Uh, sure and uh, is there a t is there a go team in Baltimore? Is there an animal associated with the team? I don't know. I don't know yeah, anything about Baltimore. Yeah, go go football team. Well, go football Ravens. Team. The football team Whatever. is the Ravens. The baseball team is the Orioles. They're both birds. Ah. Ravens. Edgar Allan Poe lived there. Why were the Orioles? So uh, go go birds. I guess I don't fucking know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. It's uh, it's insane. Uh, I've driven over this bridge so many times. I feel bad. My my mom might be listening. She often is. Uh, my mom has a really bad fear of driving over bridges. Uh, I don't think that's going to be. Uh, uh, that's going to get better. Uh, oh now. God, <laughs> that's, that's probably going to be amplified. Uh, probably. Yeah. Birds bit. like me, zero fucks. I, I knew that was coming. I knew talking about Baltimore being represented by birds would bring up the bird allegations. I the vehemently allegations. deny the bird allegations. I don't know. It's because you are a bird, though. I, why is everyone? Why is everyone just spewing this, this disinformation about because, me? Because me a bird. you are a bird. How? You squawk like one. Uh, deny. No, no, anyway, it's just weird. It's I don't know. Do, I, do do you squawk, Aiden? Yes, yeah, she does. Have no. you been known to squawk? What no. makes you squawk? Why do you squawk? I don't know why people have been uh, spreading this misinformation about me. The misinformation is just true. What's your bone density at compared to a normal person's? <laughs> that, that's a good um, question, actually. Uh, I would play the fifth. <laughs> I don't know the answer to this question. Oh, oh dear. I also know the answer to this question. I don't know, and you did say off air just before we came on, you say, I sure do love being a bird, and then you flapped your wings and you flew off and, and came back. So I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Why would you deny this this undeniable fact that you are, in fact, some form of research avian? Hmm. Hang on, do I have this meme here? Let me see. Uh, I wasn't planning on this, but I did have a meme about this somewhere. Where did I save it? Oh. Maybe uh, chat is now I'll saying that, later. Yeah. Chat is now saying that you aren't real because birds aren't real. That, <laughs> I have heard that, but I but I'm clearly real because I'm talking right now. So then, I, therefore, I'm not a bird. See, look, it all logically follows. Checkmate, atheists. Mm -hmm. Yeah, chat. What are you gonna do now? I don't, I can't find it. It's that thing where it's like tired of being a bird. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Now I'm now I'm on the hunt for this. I knew I I thought for sure I had that downloaded on this computer. Do I not? Oh my god. Everything, everything. We're trying to find everything. Zaka, 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 Zaka. There's a bunch of fucking memes. Oh, my whole life is not about a bunch of memes. Okay, here it is. Look, I found it. Where are my okay. memes? There it is. My meme folder. My meme folder. I don't know how to listen to music, but there we go. <laughs> See? Alright. Yeah, I like this meme. <laughs> yeah, Aiden, how aerodynamic are you? <laughs> what? what kind of question is that? I basically want to know um, if we throw you, how far will you fly? Yeah, I understand what he means by the by the term aerodynamic, but <laughs> how would I know how to answer this question? I reckon I could pick you up and throw you. Uh huh. All right. <laughs> how aerodynamic is she? She's built like a paper plane. It's <laughs> being rude to me. I'm being from fucking all sides. Everyone's being rude. Uh, it's a normal Broken Crown episode, then. Aiden yeah. is being bullied. Yes. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> this is not the ship's first issue, by the way. Uh, <laughs> Baltimore Bridge Collapse was in the first major accident for giant container ship Dolly. The container ship that hit Baltimore Bridge on Tuesday was involved in a previous accident in 2016 when it slammed into a stone pier. So, okay... Like, I've got some conspiracy theories about this, and I'll get into them when I am going to get into yes, them. Yes, uh, I would like to moment. know the demographic breakdown of the of the staff. Oh, they're all Indian. Ah, that explains it. Yeah. That's why I was going... Has anybody else noticed... He's irrational now. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but like in the past, I don't know, like uh, six months to maybe two years, I have noticed everywhere you find non-whites, you just find a giant amount of incompetence. Everywhere. Yeah, true. 
It almost I mean, making is, me think like white supremacy I, is totally a real thing, and it was not based <laughs> on any oppression. It's just based on the fact that we are objectively smarter and better human beings. And you I, can I, have you have you off. have you? There's, there's a place, Spoon. It's called the Third World. It's, it's made that kind of evident for a while. Mm, it's true. like, huh? Oh, Graham, where am I from? The whole, the, <laughs> the whole, I'm gonna say you you are South African, yes. Mm. Uh, if you do that accent ever again, I swear <laughs> to God. <laughs> Fucking prunes. Um, <laughs> uh, Come on, Spoon, say fucking bronze. <laughs> Come on, say the, say the line. <laughs> Do it. Listen, I may be from Africa, but I'm not a monkey. <laughs> say the line, Spoon. <laughs> God, I hate uh, foreigners. Wait, what? Oh, yes, uh, there's this. Uh, the thing is, like liberal theorists, is like, why are these people so poor? It must be the racism and the capitalism oh, like, and the systems yes. and mm -hmm. all of this stuff. It's just like, well, have you considered that these people aren't very good at technical stuff? Mm -hmm. or they don't have a technological society because they ain't built one. Mm -hmm. I mean, have you noticed that? Have you noticed they're not spontaneously building one? Did, yeah. did, 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 did you see that part? Yeah. And if you um, install you, one there you noticed... for them, they won't take care of it. They yeah. don't know how. <clears throat> yeah. Even I mean, if, if you, you teach if, them, if, they if don't you go know to how. these places where there's no white people around, they still suck. So I get the impression it's it's not the fault of whitey. Yeah. Uh, why we've already we, we're already we're only what are we in? Uh, Twelve minutes in, we've already absorbed the whitey. Well done, us. We've solved we the world's racial problem. Well, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna have to get to, as Lance points out here, the Daily Wire stuff. He says for five. And I'll, I'll get to all the super chats later, but uh, speaking of Noam Weiss, Daily Wire sure picked the best time Holy Week to have a real one who's running their optic Skeletor. I know, right? Not just that, James Lindsay's also having a real one uh, oh, on Holy Week, which is James unbelievable. An absolute trash. Oh, um, so I did see an, one earlier. Uh, have there been any Mothman sightings in the area over the bridge? <laughs> that was also from Lance for five. Yeah, I'll just get these then. Uh, you know what? <laughs> uh, no, Lance, I, I, I wondered that reference. question as well. It's not an obscure reference. I mean, Mothman it seems prophecies. to be following. I know, know who Mothman is. Okay, do you know the the town that my grandmother am, uh, is from? That my dad grew up in is Fallen to West Virginia. It's right across, right down the river from Every the uh, Silver Bridge. Every time you start sound so old. Am I saying my grandmother and my father? Yes. No, the the grandmother. Well, yeah, my my grandmother's my day, dead, my but she was, was a hundred and three years old. <laughs> yeah. 102, 103, I, I can't remember how old my grandmother was. But yeah, like the Silver Bridge collapse, that, that happened 10 miles down the road from where my dad grew up. And then wow. I grew and then I and then I lived in Baltimore. I I'm that's some Mothman shit. Why not? Fo following me. <laughs> that that seems a little serendipitous, right? I mean it's horrifying, right? It, it does uh, the on some of the positive sides. I suppose, or the conspiratorial side, depending on how you feel about it. The ship did apparently um, radio the bridge control because the thing about the uh, key bridge is that it's you have to pay to get on it, so you can't just drive right across it without stopping at the um, turnstile kind of thing, whatever it's called. The um, uh, where you have to pay the money or use your your uh, card. Yeah, the the toll toll um, stop point. So they closed off the toll stop point, so people couldn't get on the bridge. But you'll, because if you notice when you watch the video, like there's very little wait traffic minute, happening at the time of the collapse. That's what they're so, claiming that they I that they say, radioed them beforehand. Isn't Baltimore a place where a lot of people pay the toll anyway? Yeah, um, you you can get something called like an Easy Pass. Oh, <laughs> she just got it. Um, <sighs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You can uh, pay the toll or you can get today. an easy pass. There you go. Whatever it's called. <laughs> Oi. We made a, we made a toll. I, I made my toll paying joke. Yes. Um, oh my god. Uh, Baltimore's, so. Baltimore is one big toll booth. <laughs> That's true, it is. Uh, Horwitz Fomic and Horwitz for Five says that Bridge was like, uh, Omar is a coming. Yeah, apparently. Horwitz Feinberg and Horwitz from their five says hashtag bird confirmed. I don't like that. Thank you, though. <laughs> Slashy for 10 says, listening to Legal Vices and some others last night, sounds like the smoke was the diesel. Yes, because they had a backup engine uh, on and they dropped anchor when they got power and the anchor swung them into it. Uh, that's, I mean, v Legal Vices would be the guy to know. He is a maritime attorney. 
Uh, so if anyone knows more about it, it would be legal vices. And that's what he says. Uh, yeah, I defer. Yeah, they they Keystone cops that shit. They really panicked and made the wrong moves, which yeah. makes me think it, it like you couldn't deliberately do that. <laughs> it's, it'd be really, especially with the current yeah. and the bridge, yeah. and it's it's real goofy. I'm yeah. sorry, but that's some real wacky racist shit taking that bridge down. That's some proper goofy yeah. ass stuff. I mean, that makes total sense actually. <laughs> now that Slosher said that, because then if you look at the way the the boat just turns in to it if they did drop anchor that would be why they just went you know and, and totally changed direction uh and then lewis shaw morfitt for five pounds says uh are we sure the ship and not it was the ship and not lizzo it is baltimore true they both have a huge amount of gravitational pull hold um, my weave <laughs> <laughs> Uh, propulsion failed on the cargo ship that struck the francis key bridge in baltimore on tuesday as it was leaving port causing it to collapse into the frigid Patapsco River. Its crew warned Maryland officials of possible collision before they lost control, as they said. The vessel notified the MDOT, Maryland Department of Transportation, that they had lost control of the vessel, and a collision in the bridge was possible, according to an unclassified Department of uh, Homeland Security report. The vessel struck the bridge, causing complete collapse. An official speaking on the condition of anonymity confirmed to the US to USA Today that the DHS Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency is working with federal, state, and local officials to, quote, understand the potential impacts of this morning's collapse on the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Why is the cybersecurity police involved in this? This is Indian. Um, because there was, a, there was a rumor that went round that this was like, oh, the boat could have been hacked. It could have been a remote Russian... Oh. It's them, like, reaching... Oh. It's kind of sad, really, a lot of that, that stuff. That is sad, yeah. Oh, the Russians could have done it. Yeah, uh, yeah, the if the, if, tell you what, if the American security state is telling you the Russians have done something, like they did with Trump, but it's definitely not the Russians, okay? Most likely, yeah. <laughs> it's, the, it's the people you can discount the, the, the like first time round. The American security state saying it's the Russians, it ain't the Russians. It's, it's not the Russians, yeah, exactly. Uh, Clay Diamond, executive director of American Pilots Association, told USA Today, power issues are not unusual in cargo ships, which are so large they cannot easily course correct. Uh, here's the thing, though, my dude. Uh, I, I can, they deliberately my, my grandpa drove into the thing, so... Uh, well, unless what they're... I mean, if, if that's what Legal Vices said, and again, he's a maritime lawyer, and if he says it looks like they dropped anchor and then it swung the ship via its own momentum, that would make sense. Um... But I, I don't yes. know. And and it looks like no one wants to investigate this so far. They just seem to be like I don't know. I'm I'm confused by some of the stuff involved with this. Um I just however, see like chaos but, and entropy really. Right, um yeah. a, a lot of it just seems to be a lot of people talk about the competency crisis and trying to blame individuals yeah, or yeah. DAE DIE programs, but the real yes. I think the real scary part is and this is this is again, people call me the Mr. Black Pill, but no, they don't call me that. They they, they call my content black pill. But the problem <laughs> is that because the shipping industry has become so declined and a lot of the the port stuff is now so low uh, in terms of profit and despite there being, you know, record capacity needed, no one's really making any money. So yeah. the port authorities, they're all down in funding. The shipping lines, they're super down in funding, as we saw with kind of the Evergrande, Ever, you know, all the all the shit that's been going on with the shipping lines. So really, this kind of event is just with the soup of decline and factors yeah. going on. Yeah, it is. It is. This is just going to... I'm afraid this is just going to keep happening more often as things just get worse. And as, as we can't maintain the complex systems, as the shipping industry further gets degraded because there's no money in global shipping. And it just it just feels to me like one of those big kind of outgrowths of the chaos. Like what's been going on with the airlines, really? I know a lot of people want to blame kind of specific diversity initiatives for that. But really, that's just America running out of its ability to maintain well, aircraft, probably. The, the DIA stuff, die stuff, whatever, is, is a manifestation of the total illness, right? Because again, like, it's not one... If it's just the people running the ship who fuck up there should still be so many other factors in play to prevent something this catastrophic from happening the port authority the um the i, I don't know anyone else involved outside of just just the one person running the ship any, anyone else in the harbor then my point on this is that they say oh well this happens all the time excuse me uh like dozens of these ships if not hundreds go by on under the key bridge every day and have since 1976 so why is this only happening now I mean, I guess you could say, well, it's inevitable, you know, entropy over time or something, and something like this was eventually bound to happen. I don't think so. I think it's it's a greater, as you said, competency crisis. Nobody fucking cares. And DEI is a factor of that, but it's only one factor. And I, we're going to look at the DEI hires who run the Port Authority, because of 
I mean, of course, right? Of course they do. Are they Indians too? No, they're black. It's Baltimore. What do you expect? Uh... Uh, yeah. It's likely that virtually every pilot in the country has experienced a power loss of some kind, but it generally, but generally it's momentary, Diamond said. This was a complete blackout of all the power on the ship, temporarily, so that's unusual. Of course, this happened at the worst possible location. Uh, the ship's the ship in Tuesday's crash, the Dolly, was involved in at least one prior accident when it collided with a shipping pier in Belgium. That 2016 incident occurred as the Dolly was leaving port in Antwerp and struck a loading pier made of stone, causing damage to the ship's stern. According to vessel, VesselFinder.com, a site that tracks Find ships. my vessel! Yeah. <laughs> Do you know where your vessel is? VesselFinder.com. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> An investigation determined a mistake made by the ship's master and pilot was to blame. No one was injured in the crash, while the ship regained re uh, required repair. Oh, that's good. At least the, the Indian ship's fine. And a full inspection before being returned to service. The pier or berth... Oh, this is talking about the 2016 thing. Was also severely damaged, se seriously damaged, and had to be closed. Um, the nine-year-old container ship has passed uh, previous inspections during its time at sea, but during one such inspection in June at the port of San Antonio in Chile, officials discovered a deficiency with its propulsion and auxiliary machinery, gauges and thermometers... According to the Tokyo MOU, an intergovernmental maritime authority. Okay, so why did it crash into the Key Bridge? Investigating the crash. Uh, they don't know. That's the answer. They don't know. They've got guesses. I, and then, yeah, yeah, the reason why there's the smoke is it's the backup diesel generator. What's what's your read on all this then, Spoon? Well, if, if you're done... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you eating something again? No, everything... <laughs> What's my take on this thing? Well, yeah. the main thing, I just looked at the the sort of the way that the ship pivots. It's going fine, and then it just swerves right into the middle of the thing. It looks like yeah. it was deliberately designed to tank the bridge. Like, because you're not even facing it. You can see, like, if you if you speed it up, like, the last, like, 10 seconds, it looks like it's just, like, deliberately designed to tank the fucking bridge. That's, that appears to be them dropping anchor, if what's being said is accurate. Which, if, which... If, if, that's, if legal basis is correct, yeah. And that's what that is. Here, I'll play it again. Why do they look so <laughs> retarded? <clears throat> well, well, because they were up a little bit. Yeah, yeah because they're going ding, 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 ding. <laughs> yeah, so you can see on, it here. It's headed on board. Ding, ding, ding. Then the diesel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on, hang on. Let me go back. So you can see the power goes out. It's still headed adrift in the same direction, which would have missed the pylon. Power comes back on. Diesel en uh, engine starts, and then it just. Phew, just hard pivot. I always get port and starboard mixed up. Right. Yeah, and then then it then it <clears throat> power comes on and off, on and off, on and off. So to starboard, it just goes, yeah. Boom. And just recorrects right into it. But if they dropped anchor and that's what happened, then the momentum would have could have caused it to do that, yeah. I mean just I don't know, by the way. I, I don't again, I don't know if it's incompetence or intentional. It's hard to say. It's a weird one if it's intentional, though. It doesn't really make well, any, like it doesn't really make any sense to me. I'll tell you why it's intentional. The Key Bridge it was built in 1976. Uh, they have continually raised the price on it. Uh, I can get the idea that that uh, people in charge of Baltimore City might want to get a whole giant cash injection from the federal government to build them a new bridge and then still tax, uh, charge the Maryland residents uh, money to drive over it. If it was it was ten dollars to go over the bridge. Or about that last time I went over it. Well, yeah, they'll charge twenty dollars now. If, to go if you're over gonna it. annex one. some sort of master plan, uh, why would you do it on a vessel where the entire crew's? Uh, now we've gone from Indians are incompetent to Indians are hyper competent and taking place in a giant financial conspiracy. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, well, uh, true, true, true. Uh, would they care? I guess if they destroyed their own bridge, because again, what happened immediately afterwards? So this this happens. The bridge is destroyed. It's it's completely destroyed. And Biden says federal government will pay to rebuild the Francis Scott Peake Bridge. There you go. Like, I, I get, I get that. That's just them looking to look like they're doing something. Yeah, I, I guess so. I, that's also just a probably yeah, reaction to embarrassment. Yeah. Um, I also think that, that a few people who've been putting out stories about it, ooh, it might be the Russians, ooh, it might be intentional, are weird semi-regime people who put who float stuff like that sometimes anyway. And I, I think if the, where the where the conspiracy noises are coming out of is quite important, and the conspiracy yeah. noises seem to be coming from inside the house. Yeah, because um, I because I, I don't know, I, I don't know. Again, my my idea is just that they want to rebuild the bridge. I wasn't, I, I haven't floated a, that it's some kind of grander conspiracy theory. I just think that they want to use taxpayer money 
and to, to rebuild the bridge and line their pockets and pat themselves on the back for doing so and call themselves oh heroes. Because politicians love doing that kind of shit. Spend your... Destroy their own uh, stuff, uh, rebuild it using your money, and then pat themselves on the back for it and demand that you uh, you do as well. I don't know if they have anything interesting here to say about it. Uh, just, yeah, Biden's going to apparently pay for the new bridge. It must and, be, again... And you're going to pay for it, too, by the way. If you live in anywhere near the Chesapeake Bay area, you will still have to pay 10 to $20 for the bridge when you go over it. I guarantee it. Well, the, the big thing is how important the port... Despite being quite run down and despite having lost a lot of revenue, the port is still quite important to the yes, East Coast of America. Yes, it is. Um... It is still quite an important piece of infrastructure. Yeah. And I think maybe that's why people are floating some of these theories. Yeah. Again, it's so embedded. I think it's more embarrassing that this can happen by accident, honestly. It is incredibly embarrassing how fragile large parts of the American infrastructure are. Yeah. Um, you know, whether it makes them vulnerable to attack or not, depending on your viewpoint, is like, well, it depends if somebody has motivation to attack American infrastructure. But it's, it's just... The most likely thing is it falling down on its own is what we've always been told. Is there's, It's really since, I think, the Bush administration, even before that, really, even in the 1970s, they were talking about America's crumbling infrastructure. Right, right. It, it's something that's never, it's really just never been addressed. I mean, it was a um, huge issue last year. With, again, we, we brought it up. I was about uh, to say, it's, uh, it's, it's part the, of the, like the every East election, actually. Mm. Yeah, we brought up, uh, yeah. were we talking about this? What did we talk about the other, the other day? The East Palestine tra train derailment. It's yes, just yes. unbelievable that that could even fucking happen in in 2023. I guess that was that did that happen in 2023. Yeah, um, that was last year. Yeah, yeah. How how could a, a train this this very old system of transport that should be really worked out just dump a huge amount of of uh, toxic, toxic chemicals? Right. Uh, how could that have possibly happen? How could this have happened? Because it's not just one little error. That's the thing that I think people keep, they're looking for someone, and that's that's just human nature, right? They're looking for someone or something to point the blame to, whether it be conspiratorial or whether it be the, the Small hats. crew or whatever. Sure, whatever. Uh, but the reality is that I find, I found fascinating by this is that I think that it's more what you were saying, is that like it's so many things had to go wrong. And that's because the, the whole infrastructure is crumbled. There's just nothing there that's in place anymore that still functions as it should. I, I, there was a stream I did with the Radical Liberation a few years ago that actually got mm. popular in Russia, weirdly enough, huh. uh, <laughs> called non de Collapse. And when we're talking about the Evergrande thing, we're talking about the completely degraded state of like the Maritimes. Yeah, weirdly enough, it mm. got massive traction on VK. Um, awesome. I think someone related to Alexander Dugan might have posted it on VK mm. or something. Mm. Um, I'm not well really done. sure. And then the traffic got blocked. I know YouTube's really weird about stuff and getting pop, get, getting popular in Russia mm -hmm. for obvious reasons. Mm -hmm. So we had a bunch of views taken off that video, even though we, I, I'm pretty mm. sure they were legitimate. Well, um, YouTube don't like Russia. I can't imagine why. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've, but still, I'm absolutely it's, stumped. No reason whatsoever. I if you if you guys have the result, yeah, you know, go look at the state of international shipping because it, mm -hmm. well, uh, the the thing that breached the headlines was kind of the the Evergrande thing, a few of the other kind of sh weird shipping things that happened. That poor Egyptian guy who got stuck living on that boat. Um, I think we talked about that uh, off air, but the the point really is that international shipping has already collapsed. A lot of the cruise lines have already collapsed as well. Mm -hmm. Like the the sea has become unprofitable somehow. Uh, and with people are trying to figure out why, but it just means that there really is no money left to maintain these boats. And this is what's going to happen. You get hundreds and hundreds of tons of ship being run on a shoestring budget and being, and being yeah. manned by a inexperienced and usually relatively low paid crew. Yeah. Um, and what you get is this. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Let's look at the crew, shall we? Well, not the crew. Sorry. The crew is in OED, I believe. But here's the Port Authority. Learn a little bit about the Baltimore Port Authority. Uh, let's see. Let's meet the commissioners. The Port of Baltimore. <clears throat> we first we have uh, Karen Thea A. Barber, who is a uh, diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging auditor and consultant. Basically, she's a useless <laughs> regime pleb. Yeah, yeah, a uh, chair filler. Well done. Founder well done. You filled your chair. Yeah, founder and CEO of Professional Development Associates LLC, a consulting practice that provides leadership and workforce training, coaching, and diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging audits and consulting. The Baltimore native is a life member of the Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Inc. and Baltimore MD chapters. Whatever. Uh, yeah. Cool. Then we've got here Sandy. Wow, wow, it's a man named Sandy. That's interesting. 
Uh, Sandy Roberts can claim considerable experience in two sectors that both happen to be relevant to the port, corporate law and wholesale business. Uh, he's a managing partner at the Roberts Law Group, PLLC, where he pra his practice areas include litigation, real estate, governmental affairs, international transactions, corporate and commerce law, and business advocacy. In addition, Roberts is the president and CEO of Olympic Supply, Inc., a business he formed in 1991. So, okay, whatever. He's just a black guy. But, you know, there you go. Uh, but it doesn't sound like he has any experience in maritime law, right? Generally knew some of maritime law when he was appointed to the Port Authority. <laughs> Uh, only member is this guy who has any experience in the industry is, uh, the white dude who's shocked. Shocking. I know. Here is the Baltimore Port Environmental Justice in 2023 Wild uh... STEM Career Summit. Harbor oh, City God. Links presents careers in wild STEM. Okay, out of curiosity, how much of DEI is literally just a jobs program because these people are utterly incompetent uh, and would never get a job in the free Most market ever? Yeah, yeah, sure. um, yeah, maybe not all of it, most but of it. The bat, yeah, most of it. There you go. Yeah, because whenever I, <clears throat> I hear any of these people, I can't help but notice, okay, this is like the one thing I agree with the World Economic Forum on, just not for the right reasons, but there really <laughs> right. is just a gigantic amount of utterly useless fucking people that... Can we look at that first line there? That's such fucking corporate speak. No, the, the, when it says number one there at the, at the bottom, mm -hmm. prioritize environmental justice by engaging with stakeholders. That oh, sentence that says nothing. nothing. Yes. It says nothing. Now, I, I used, you know, um, I have a PR degree. So we had to write like a PR plan at one point and we would write shit like that. Yeah. In prior days, environmental justice, we would write that cringe. part, but engage with, no, engage with stakeholders. The fuck, does, fuck that does that mean? But then when we would, then the thing is that you have to have like under one, you have to have A, B, C, and then, you know, I, uh, I, 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 you know, all the different ways that you're going to actually do that. They probably didn't because most of these and, people don't. And you did that as a degree? Um, I had extra time <laughs> to get an extra degree. So I got a second but... degree in, in public relations. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah, well, I don't know. They taught me to use a lathe in my degree. I don't really <laughs> you know. I don't know. I don't engineer. My main, my main degree was, is in a communication, right? Which is my main area of, of research and always has been. And I did finish writing my video today. Uh, so uh, I'll send that to you actually later, Scrum, if you want to look over it, I guess. I don't know why you would. It's all the Gamergate shit, which we will. Do I, some I, new can, stuff on I can look, I'll, I'll, I can look over that. It's I'm like 16, apparently. Thousand words. It's pretty short, yeah. <laughs> apparently, I'm the Gamergate guy. So. Okay, that's, that's apparently. <laughs> well, it's Scrum, can I ask you a totally random question? Designated. <laughs> What's that, Spoon? Can I ask you a totally random question? Yeah, 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 go for it. it. Somebody asked me this in my comment section. Um, can Dev not understand the analogies? Um, uh, I think he chooses not to, to be honest. I think he chooses not to. I think he, yeah, but sometimes no. Um, <laughs> there's a okay. famous incident where he got made fun of for trying to like debunk the ANCAPs by saying that basically he made a little diagram. Oh, you sleep on a field, but overnight, uh, four landowners buy the land around you and you're trapped. And he built it with little gaps. And loads of people just drew a little line through the gaps and been like, just walked through the gaps, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I, he doesn't understand how Well, you understand the sometimes. problem there, right? You understand yeah. the problem with why, what, no, he couldn't figure that one out. How does he because he's too fat to walk through the gaps. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you got it. Awful. Um, I don't know. If, I feel like his IQ has dropped about 30 points since I used to speak way. to him. It does seem that way. <laughs> I have noticed in the I mean... last couple of months, um, pretty much anyone on the right that was mainstream has basically just evaporated in a pit of utter stupidity. Because well, all the Dev smart would say he's never been even right. slightly right. He's always been perfectly center. Oh, he that's why he, oh, yeah. he. That's why he used to not have any issues with you saying the shit that you told me you said in front of him on on dumping with Scrump, right? I used to. I I, I would say <laughs> what I used to say on dumping with Scrump, but it would get your channel. I, I used to say the most. <laughs> I used to say on air. You should have heard what I said off air. So I don't know why he needs a fainting couch now about my belief system. Because I, <laughs> I, I've said terrible, terrible things to that man, both on and off air on the internet. And I have no idea how he can be like, oh, you've been radicalized. It's like, mate, what you Just I've now? Got, I've got <laughs> less edgy as I've got older or anything. I've smoothed out a bit. I've rounded out a bit. I don't, you know what I found I don't, funny when I heard that? Um, <laughs> he ne he doesn't mention anything that you read. No, 
which I thought was quite oh, weird. It's like Scrum was uh, radicalized. I'm like, by what? What 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 books did you read? They, w would you mind telling us the books that that radicalized Scrum? I would like to know what they are so I can read them fastidiously. <laughs> And uh, join him um, in radicalization and becoming an uh, insane right winger. <laughs> uh, like Gonsha, we're not upset. We're not upset with Dev. He just he puzzles us. He's an, an yeah. enigma. Yes, he can. A yes. big, yes. a big, big enigma. <laughs> <laughs> a big round enigma. Uh, <laughs> any, any, anyway, where will? Oh, yeah. You see, so, I yeah. What, I don't wait, bring. Wait, wait, but Spin's question was like, what what books radicalized you? Um, I mean, I'm probably, not saying that obviously you weren't, but or I mean, it's, or if you were, it's been going on for a long time. I mean, but, considering yeah. you and I are monarchists, which is incredibly weird by today's standards, we could say Leiden was the one who radicalized us. I don't know how anyone could describe me as someone who was radicalized when one of my most infamous moments on the internet is quite literally being a meme terrorist. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. <laughs> I have accidentally carried out acts of terrorism. I don't know how you think I have been. <laughs> Radicalized. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, right. You're more the one that does the radicalizing. Born in it. <laughs> I was born, born in it. Molded by it. it. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't uh, on until I was already a man. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I by didn't. The way, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the question was in my comment section. Mm. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. I just thought um, it, was, it was kind of weird. Because I've, I've, I've been dunking on them and Adam and Stitch a lot lately. Mainly because they don't keep my fucking name out of their dumb mouths. Like, just don't talk shit about me. I won't See, talk this is the problem, you. guys. It's, like it's been, it, it's become cyclical. So it's just, that is how it is. Yeah. I'm afraid that is how it is. Uh, to, to, to clarify a quick point of the discussion going on in the chat, for those of you who don't know how uh, ships are generally piloted, generally the pilot of the ship inside port is replaced because port is a much more hazardous yeah. environment than the open sea. And usually the port authority will use and have their own pilots which is why we're talking about the port authority because yeah. the port authority were the ones effectively legally in control of the ship at the point that it crashed yeah, yeah. so that's it's a little bit of context problem. there if you don't know how uh, ships go in and out of port yeah. generally what will happen is the pilots will be taken off the boat by like a little shuttle boat basically um and they'll go back to the port authority um but the, the the whole point is that you're supposed to have these very professional very experienced pilots who can effectively drive any kind of boat in many cases or at least right. you know the broad categories of boat to make right. sure that you don't have these accidents in port that's but why this system wife. is there yeah and that's yeah i'm gonna say that's why as well you don't have a problem in first world ports of third world pilots mm. well maybe maybe not anymore we'll see maybe. dei is putting a stop to that but yeah. the, the, literally the reason we have pilots in ports is because we don't trust third world random people right. on a boat. To not hit, hit a fucking <laughs> the, multi... I, I hundred, hundreds and hundreds of millions... I, I don't even know how expensive the key bridge was. Uh, but it's it's going to be real pricey, and apparently the Biden admin's going to pay for it. That's the part that... I wasn't thinking conspiracy theory stuff until within 12 hours. The Biden admin says, we'll pay for it. That's actually the part that made me suspicious on it. I think it probably is, as you say, though, like it's probably just a, a confluence of, of utter incompetence on every level. But yeah, so they prioritize environmental justice by engaging with stakeholders, recruit dredge material man uh, management program committee members who reflect the diversity of near port communities and create ah. equitable... So the, the dredging thing is actually kind of important, um, just to bring up a little bit about what I know about the Chesapeake Bay. Um, so the bay has been obviously full of uh, industrial waste for the last 300 years, essentially. So they ha and in order in order to also make sure that the the bay and that that part of the Taftico River as well is able for these giant uh, freighters to come through, they have to continually dredge the bottom of of the bay. And they've been talking. I remember when I was watching The Wire. They no. were talking about <laughs> higher Everyone resource. Knows about my town. You know, no, no. They, they were talking in season two. They were talking about higher rates of dredging in the bay to make more ships able to come in. Yeah, and they, they were talking to. about it then. Yeah. It's been. <laughs> there was it's a continuous to. problem. Yeah, there's, there's a whole there's whole islands that they've created in, in the Chesapeake that are made out of dredged material from the bay. Uh, it's it actually pretty neat because they've like they turn them into like wildlife reserves essentially. I mean, they have to you have to 
cordon them off because a lot of the stuff they pull out, it's full of horribly toxic chemicals and shit. Uh, so then they, mm, they cordon it off for a while. Bay they... sludge. Right. Mm, <laughs> indeterminate sediment. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yum, 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 yum. Delicious. But they, <laughs> they go and make it. islands out of it and, and then turn them into like little wildlife preserves, which is cool. I'm, I'm done with that. But they have, because they have to keep dredging it. Um, otherwise, you know, the sediment will always fill it up and they can't keep bringing those enormous ships through. So that's what the, the dump community is. Uh, create equitable access to DMMP sites to engage youth and educate. So uh, this is actually these DMMP sites. That's what I'm talking about. Is this fake islands that they well i guess they are islands the islands that they build you can, they're like wildlife preserves now those are pretty cool i do i do like that but this isn't really uh important i mean comparatively to making sure that the fucking port authority uh know how to <laughs> not sure. get a, sh a ship to crash into the fucking key bridge comparatively uh, this isn't that important chat has uh dubbed it base law it is base law that is that is true that's accurate the accurate <laughs> way of describing it the base law well done <laughs> so there it is there there's the people responsible help the port thrive yeah check out their bios it's just ridiculous so uh the thing is the, the problem that all the dei people have made for themselves though is every time every time an organization that invests heavily in mm -hmm. dei falls on its ass everyone will always go Look what you waste millions of dollars on. Right. Because it is. All of the, yeah. you know, whether the programs are creating incompetent employees or not, it's still them wasting massive amounts of resources on what may or may not be simply performative. Oh yeah. my God. I didn't see this till just now. I, the video has been deleted, but I want to find this. Just a week ago, the Port of Baltimore put out a video for Women's History Month with celebrated women breaking into the male dominated field of piloting. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I did see no, this. No, they took it down. God it's not very good. It. It's, you can basically imagine it, but the, yeah, yes, yeah, that video yeah, was real, nothing. and yes, that was very funny. It's a nothing burger, I'm sure, but yeah, it's still it's just them them waffling about like, oh, oh it's so great to be a female ship pilot and uh, and do, 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 uh let, make, let's make uh, women really parking jokes. I mean, pilots are basically meant to park the boats. Do you really want women to be doing that? I've seen I don't park. Want them to do I would. Look at people like this who are such bitches. St don't stoop this low. Stop it. Why? Why? They don't want you to tell the truth. It's like, it's so, they brag about this stuff. And then when you notice it, when you notice, then they're like, oh, they I don't notice that. Percent. Please <laughs> let both the pilots have been women. Please let both the pilots have been women. No. <laughs> <It would> have been <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Not everything has to be political. We can be better than this. Why? What if, it is political, though. It clearly the, these it, are, of this is political. No, they, those are like oh weird. Uh, Operation Oops. Earnest Voice Bots. Those yeah. are those might be people sent by the security state. That is be, like yeah. weird de-radicalization bots. I get them, and they're not real. You can tell they're not no. real people. In oh, fact, I just didn't uh, Adelf or uh, used to go by Cringe Walker, who's on Twitter. He yeah, figured yeah. out how to hide in code inject them because they've been using really? AI. Yeah, I watched him do it in real time. He code injected a bunch of bots and shut them the fuck down. It was so God funny. Damn. In fact, he had botnets blocking him because oh, wow. he, was he was fucking with, with them, them so hard. Because uh, I had somebody, I had someone respond to me that was really weird. It was like a very low follower, Andy, who just said it was the same things that like all I said was how could this have happened? That's all I said in my tweet about it, which was just I made just hours after it had happened, and it was clearly a rhetorical question. I was like, this is awful, this is terrible. How could this have happened? And they just went. Okay. <laughs> Well, actually, go check and wouldn't actually. But it, but it was this very uh, interesting thing. It was go watch the video, watch the video. Just kept telling me to watch the video. I was like, well, yeah, I watched the video. That's not giving me an answer as to how it happened. And it was just very bizarre uh, that it's a lot there at, around the same time that that person started responding. But three hours after I actually posted my tweet, which was about an hour after it happened, a whole bunch of people came in and did the same thing of being like, "What is this conspiracy theory?" I didn't make a conspiracy theory. I said, "How did this happen?" So yeah, there's clearly some. Again, I don't so know what shit. this is about. I, I don't know if if any of this was intentional or not. I do know that when I see weird shit happening on Twitter like that, can I, it can, makes me curious, right? Makes me can we just take a moment to appreciate how like utterly fake and gay the internet has become? Because yeah, it's really sad. I, I, I'm I'm gonna be an old man again. But back when I used mm -hmm. to be on 4chan, back in the <laughs> earlier days, of the internet, back uh -huh. when internet culture was really forming, you know, yeah. after the, the, the BBS Stone Age, as it sure. were. 
Um, th- the internet was a bit fake and gay. You know, you'd get mm-hmm. shills, you'd get people who obviously weren't real, you'd get people who were obviously lying or had alternate agendas. But, mm-hmm. like, social media now, and I've noticed that it's really the last few years, and Twitter mm-hmm. especially is like this, there's so much that comes across as just, like, not real people. It's honestly yep. made me reconsider my thoughts about some of the dead, inter- the, the, the dead, dead internet, internet theory, yeah. theory stuff. Mm-hmm. Because a lot of the things I've been finding in my own research have been that holy shit, they've had the ability to create these fake people that are quite convincing, that are not operated by anybody, really. Yeah. Or at least oh, you can get hundreds of people operated by one person. Uh, yeah. For a very long, very, 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 very long time. They've admitted to it since about 2011. Mm-hmm. So in the last 13 years, things must have advanced quite hard. And it could be that a large amount of like reply traffic, especially with contentious keywords on Twitter, is mm-hmm. just not real people. Not obviously like porn bots, because the porn bots are everywhere. Oh, God, right. yeah. <laughs> and they're awful and they're obvious. But you will sometimes get, like, you'll, you'll catch a chat GTP reply. Yeah. Uh, I've, again, I, I, yeah. seeing seeing someone shut one down in real time was a real bra moment. <laughs> that was fucking. That was someone doing like I don't know. I, I like cringe Walker, but he does weird Talmudic tech magic because he's, uh, he's a tribes <laughs> person. What, what did he do? Um, <laughs> he, he he used code injection. Basically, the 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 bot read the code and because it had code instructions in it, it shut down yeah. their instance. Basically, it oh. killed the fucking bot. Yeah, that's pretty funny. <laughs> Yeah, it's hilarious. Um, I'd love I to. F- I, I tell you what, I, I could probably actually find that somewhere because um, it was an incident that happened to me on to, on this. I, I, I usually I assume that my little Twitter stories I can't post to you because my accounts get banned so often. But um, you still have the Nomus account. I do, I do, I do. Uh, I'll see if I can actually find. Oh God damn it! I, I'll I'll look for it anyway. You guys, uh, you right. guys keep going. Well, okay. So this is one that this is good for Spoon then because Spoon covered this, didn't you? Oh to, god, yeah. I, I but I went like six old minutes school. failed to disclose misinformation researcher got millions in government grants donated to Biden. This is uh, this is related back to uh, yeah, I, I just, women I just and uh, looked government at money. Yeah, I look just at her. Her, like, yeah, you're, you're just shit. you're just the epitome of pathetic. It's just box like, wine and cats. It's not even that, just like like everything that I think of when it comes to women and the regime is in that face. Yeah, let me scroll down a little bit. And also she looks exactly yeah, like um uh Aiden, if you can hold on give me a second. If you can pull this up and tell me tell me this isn't totally the same fucking person. I mean yeah, you you uh you made this argument to me. Uh I I, I, I don't you know it to be invited yeah. or uh hold on a second. Post it in the group chat. Uh, I'm posting the group chat. Uh, there you go. I swear to God. I, I mean, mean they do look like they can be related. Her versus uncanny. yeah, this, this one. <laughs> it does. I mean, <laughs> it I mean, is a bit I mean, uncanny. Look at that. I mean, holy shit. I mean, Jesus. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's similar glasses and everything. Just, similar uh, glasses, yeah. hairstyle, face. Crazy eyes, like yeah. holy shit! That is the same fucking person. I swear to God. You're fucking a white male. There you go. Here was the incident. I don't know if you can see it or not. But oh. if you scroll up in that thread, the uh, the replies from that account as you scroll up actually disappear. Uh, oh, wow. It's it's very str- yeah. it's very strange. But Tucker uh, Carlson says he despises Ben Shapiro, whereas four kids fighting overseas, and then the account God. that he was responding to was this deep killery blues. Is that the one he was? And by the way, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. Look at this. What the fuck? They started to have like a fucking. I do like huh? that people are starting to have a go at Ben Shapiro. That does make me happy. And then it basically shuts it yeah. down because the the, the the account actually blocked me after that too, which wow. is really funny. Yeah, no, you can act. There's actually code injection you can do to certain types of bot on Twitter uh, by replying to them with the right code. That's strength. fascinating. Yep. Yep. Um, Interesting. I, I've seen it happen like in real time. Anyway, c- complete tangent. Thing. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, because you can sometimes tell though when it's like, the... but it's difficult. It is difficult to tell sometimes because leftists do just run on scripts themselves. Yeah, that's they why do. So... The the the, 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 the the human NPC is almost indistinguishable from the botnet NPC, right. which is very funny. It is. It is kind of creepy, <laughs> but it, it does make it difficult to to differentiate. It sometimes. does. It does. That's why. Now, if you, if you guys, yes. If you guys want to read more about that, uh, look up um, 
Operation Operation uh, Earnest Voice, I think it was called, mm-hmm. back in 2011, when the US was doing this as a matter of course in like the Islamic world in the Middle East. Oh, I do recall hearing about that from a long time ago because I read some research on that. Yeah, of course you did. It's I don't uh, what yeah, it's called, but it, it's been years too. Actually, it was when I was looking into that 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 weird Cypriot shit I was talking about earlier with the 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 pepe, people studying the Pepe's and yep. things. Yeah. There you go. go Twenty on. fucking twenty eleven. Thirteen oh, years damn. ago. Yeah. The U.S. military yeah. is developing software that will let it secretly manipulate social media sites by using fake online personas to influence internet conversations and spread yep. pro-American propaganda. Twenty eleven. Goddamn. Oh boy. Oh boy, has it. Fucking years. Yeah. Thirteen years ago. I was. I'm sorry. I'm. A, I'm an encyclopedia for the sins of the U.S. security state. No, excellent. <laughs> America has never I mean, done anything not, shady yeah. since. No, not at all. of course not. Um, if for some reason any of you need red pilling on the war on terror or on the security state <laughs> in general, by the way, uh, read Scott Horton's Enough Already. It's a very good book. So oh, uh, I'd recommend um, that one. He's he's pretty based. I like Scott. Scott Horton's pretty yeah. cool. He's he's part of kind of the Misesian libertarian stuff that we. I was going to say. Well, at least Evelyn kind of came out of. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the, the, the non saw him book. at the base of one, as he was defending the the, the Mises boys against some of the. Uh, some of the regime for like former CIA twat. Yeah. He, again, he's somebody who did, he had a debate with somebody where he just completely clowned on them. I can't remember. He might have been like Billy Crystal <laughs> or something. Uh, I yeah, think, oh. I think that's the one that I'm Yeah, he actually yeah. just fucking bodied Billy Crystal at one point. Is it like so a, is it like funny. Them on stage and he was one of them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah he that, actually yeah, that's the one. mogged. Bill Crystal. <laughs> he I, he actually got to murder a neocon in a debate. It was so <laughs> funny. Live on stage. So yeah, uh, yeah. Look up Scott Hart and Bill Crystal if you want to have a good laugh at a neocon getting his teeth kicked in oh, rhetorically. Well. We should probably watch. Oh, it you know what? Didn't accomplish anything, but it felt fucking good. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll check that out. Uh, I'll never we'll do it tonight. We'll see. Uh, so, CBS 60 Minutes failed to disclose that prominent misinformation researcher it featured on its Sunday program received funding and collaborated with President Joe Biden's administration. Really? University of Washington I'm professor so researcher Kate Starbird was featured on the, pro- on the program about misinformation proliferating on social media. Starbird spearheaded a project that Biden's National Science Foundation granted $2.25 million in 2021, and the researcher collaborated with the DHS by serving on an advisory committee under its Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, which keeps coming up, <laughs> which CBS did not mention. So it's it's fairly short. But here's wrestle a, with how to keep false and harmful information off their social networks. The Supreme on about fucking nothing. Can I wait? Let me watch it on here. Can I speed it up if it's on Twitter? I don't think you can now. Yeah, you can. No, yeah, oh, you can. you can. No, there it is. See. Stop. There we go. Go. What are we doing here? 1.5. Keep false and harmful information off their social networks. The Supreme Court is wrestling with whether platforms like Facebook and Twitter, now called X, have the right to decide what That's users cool. can say on their sites. No. The I love how everyone does that. Now called X. Passed in the red good, states of Florida and Texas over the question of First Amendment rights on the Internet. The Supreme Court is considering whether the platforms are like newspapers, which have free speech rights to make their own editorial decisions, or if so they're more like already decided, by the way. that merely transmit everyone's speech. If the laws are upheld, the platforms could be forced to carry hate speech and false medical information, the very content most big tech companies have spent years trying to remove through teams of content moderators. But in the process, Regime conservatives plans. claim that the company is yeah, yeah, in a conspiracy is this woman to suppress talk? their is speech. This? As in this case, a tweet in 2022 from Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene. Yeah, but we know all this. Like, this is, when is this, does this... Here it is. Okay, I was waiting for the, for this fucking bitch to start talking. Oh, she looks like the triggered person. Look at her. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, exa- yeah, yeah. That's so, what, this what? Yeah, we, <laughs> it's just been run up. Here we go. Scrum, did you not see that? Come on. Ha ha ha! Twitter video is so shit. You're gonna oh have to refresh God, that. I'm afraid. I am. I Twitter. Know. Is, I I know people. I know people fawn over Elon Musk a little bit, but X Soon in quotes is so. It's so fucking Misinformation shit research as a platform. Group. Created sucks. ahead of the Sorry. 2020 election. The video, yes. We were very specifically looking fine. at misinformation about election processes, procedures, and election she results. Like woman and so if we much. saw something about that, we would pass it along to the platforms if we thought it violated their one of their policies. Here's an example 
a November. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, hold us for a second. Just out of curiosity. Wait, is that is that a Ben is that a Ben Garrison cartoon? It's a Ben Garrison cartoon. Yes. Oh my God! Somebody get the labels out. Get you get your sticky <laughs> yeah, notes out. Label, we'll label everything. And everything. By the way, um, just out of curiosity, when you listen to this woman talk, uh, there's a part of me that just goes, "Why do you exist?" Like uh, seriously, yes, just like, suck up resources. Yeah, but just from a perspective of what what do you offer the society that you live in? Like your job is to look at text on the internet and report it to people. Like you're basically a like, glorified mm, fucking hall monitor. Upset. Yes, you yeah. are. You're a giant fucking yes. hall monitor. And you're, you're yeah, and your cringe job, and lame and gay. Your job is absolutely worthless. You produce nothing. Nothing you do is of any value to society. You're utterly You a are nothing. Being. You <laughs> do well, you know nothing. <laughs> Yes. Evil can never create, it can only destroy, right? Yeah, and, and it's just I don't like, like that sad. meme, it offended me, get rid of it. I, I don't know, do, do they do it for free? I don't no, think she does it for free, for I think it. she gets paid. She, she's not really She's not really a Janny, but she's still sweeping. But that's yeah, still, she's still saying that. Still but you're still a shit, I don't care if you get paid for it, you, your job is still worthless. I don't care if you draw a salary, you're say. still a shit. True. Election software in Michigan switched 6,000 votes it's from Trump she didn't get to paid, Biden. Though. The researchers alerted Twitter that then decided to label it with a warning. I understand that some of the researchers, including you, so very, like, have, we know a bunch uh, of the shit that you labeled as fake them. was not Death fake, threats. like the Hunter Biden laptop one. story. Sometimes they're threats with something behind them, and sometimes they're just there to make you nervous and uncomfortable, and it's hard to know the difference. So this this campaign against you is meant to discredit you, so we won't believe you. Absolutely. Well, why should you believe him? Why should you believe her? They've been wrong over and over and over again. Why would I they believe had to come out and admit that? job yeah. is to basically sim for the fucking the, state? The, the problem with this entire debate is that no elections are real. Mm -hmm. And true. all information about elections is misinformation. <laughs> yep, true. I, 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 I just, I, the thing is, these people are such an industry and they're such a phenotype as well. Look at her. Oh, God, she yes. is a phenotype. You're right. They always look like they're about to cry. They always look like they're slightly embarrassed about being there. They always look like they're some flavor of fucking dyke. I'm sorry. She does yeah. have yeah. terrible dyke yeah. hair. Um, and it's, again, she just looks... She's got, I hate to say it, SJW physiognomy. You, yeah, can you. you can just see her. She goes you home and lives, with, and lives with her three cats and drinks box wine. I mean, it's it's like... The, it's Scrum like I've got the They Live glasses on. I can spot leftists. Yeah. <laughs> Scrum, it's funny you say that because that was literally the opening line of the video that I just did. It's just, just by looking at you, I don't need to know anything about you or hear you speak. I can just look at your face and I can tell your politics, which yeah. is fucking weird. There's the very rare person, though, the very rare person who just kind of has a slightly incongruous style with who they are. Because yeah. I used to know someone who looked like P they look like peak SJW. They yeah. look like somebody who would like tell you off for saying like uh, I don't know for for, for calling someone a retard or something. But it, it's just they were they were one of the most like uh, I hate to be say invoke a base one of the most base people I met. Um, because they came to one of our events, and I was like, "Who is this cat mom looking person?" <laughs> and then they basically give me the script, and I'm like, "Oh, wait, you're uh, you're you're m possibly even more right wing than I am. Impressive, <laughs> very impressive, <laughs> very nice lady though. Um, yeah. lovely lady. It's one of those like lovely suburban nice kind of ladies who He's just know what's up. Nice. You don't expect <laughs> it. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. It's interesting that the people that pushed. Voter fraud lies are some of the same people that are trying to. Yeah, you mean like the voter f voter lies that you all spread in 2016? Those were fine. Oh, it's voting is fraud. Sorry. Yeah. Um. I mean, but yes, but that's what you know. We all agree on that here. But still, like, uh, remember yes, that it was, I, it was I'm fine angry. For them to, I, angry about, about democracy. Them, me too. It was fine for them to say that that voting is, is fucked and that uh, and it's all been a uh, subs. Uh, subsumed by Russian hackers in 2016 and keep saying that over and over again, but now oh, it's our sacred democracy. It cannot be hacked. It is it is um, I li I like absolutely how, impenetrable. I like how Trump was not in the apparatus whatsoever and somehow uh -huh. he managed to get Russians in, but when he's actually in the system he can't get Russians to help he can't him do it. again, Weird. which makes no Weird. fucking sense whatsoever. Almost like it's all bullshit. And yeah, voting <laughs> oh, yeah, is bullshit. Total it's shite, all a big fucking thought, rain dance, man. I just thought it was really fucking Researchers that are trying to understand the problem. Yeah. Did your research Truth. Whoops. Well, oh, fuck. Sorry, I accidentally clicked on the wrong thing. Right. I had some threats against them. Death threats. I have received one. Sometimes they're threats with something behind them. You have one death threat on Twitter? 
What the fuck? How do I how do I obtain this magic? You only got one death threat on Twitter? Holy shit. Look That's like insane. something you don't want to touch, Aiden. I guess so. Find them and sometimes they're just there to make you nervous and uncomfortable and it's hard to know the difference. This campaign against you is meant to discredit you. So we won't believe you. Absolutely. It's interesting that the people that pushed voter fraud lies are some uh, of the same people that are yeah. trying to discredit researchers that are trying to understand the problem. Did your research find that there was more misinformation spread by conservatives. Absolutely. I think uh, not just our <laughs> research. Re oh my God. How did you quantify or qualify misinformation? It's just things I don't like. I, this is, oh, oh, sorry. I didn't even know. I hadn't watched this. I didn't know it was going to trigger me in terms of just, I can't, I can't stand bad science. You know how I feel about it. Research across the board looking so at the 2020 Facebooks. election mm -hmm. found that uh -huh. there was more misinformation it, it would be spread under by what standard? people that were supporters of Donald How did you Trump or determine that? And the events oh, of things, January... that, things that you think are misinformation, aka anything that you don't like, is yeah. misinformation. This is what they mean when they say shit like this. It's it's obvious prima facie. Six kind of underscore this. USA! USA! Oh no! The folks climbing up the Capitol building were supporters oh, of, no, of Donald Trump, and they were they were well, misinformed the of by these false people claims, and, and that motivated those actions. actions. This is wrong. We know it's wrong, and it's about protecting the First Amendment. Ohio Republican Congressman Jim Jordan is chairman of the House Judiciary Committee. So, how big a problem is mis and disinformation on the web? Not at all. Well, I'm sure there's some, but I think you know our concern is the bigger problem of the um, the attack on First Amendment liberties. Congressman Jordan's look. People are always gonna fucking lie or be misinformed. That's just reality. Yeah. You can't get rid like of that. The person who's forever. fucking interviewing right now is misinformed. Well, exactly. But like, even just let's say there's no internet, you're just talking to somebody. They oftentimes have no fucking clue what they're saying. It will say it with absolute conviction. Basically, Duh. misinformation is basically any information that doesn't align with the regime. But yes, precisely. Like it's an obvious. Only in, it's only true information if we support it, and if then it yeah. comes out in five years that we lied about that. Well, whatever. I deal with it, nerd. That's basically what they do. Judiciary it's committee. Not basically, it's exactly what they a do. report that concluded there's a censorship industrial complex where the federal government and tech companies colluded with academic researchers. This was confirmed. To disproportion this was confirmed as real. This isn't a conspiracy theory. This has been confirmed. Definitely silence conservatives, yep. which Kate Starbird vigorously denies. Uh, well, of I mean, she can would. deny all she like, but unfortunately, it's it's truth. It's, it's her job we, to we do know that, this. So of course. This yeah. Is it's her, <laughs> yeah, it's her job to lie. What? Well, misinformation, it's literally her job to lie. It's legitimately her job to spread misinformation. This has all been uh, proven out. But Congressman Jordan says her group unfairly flagged posts like this tweet by Newt Gingrich. Pennsylvania Democrats are methodically changing the rules so they can steal the election. They did that. What I care about yeah. is the ability to speak and to speak in a political fashion. You know, they didn't. The you should be allowed to say it. Yeah. After you for doing so. He complains that government officials put pressure on social media companies directly. They do. A, a great example. You that we found this out in the Twitter the files. Administration, the, the Biden White House sends a uh, email to Twitter and says, we think you should take down this tweet ASAP. Yep. Just a call alone from the government, he says, can be unnerving. You what? Can't have no the government shit. Say, what the fuck do you. What kind of statement? Even? No shit. Yes. If the government calls you and says, if the. If the Officer, the president calls you, and, and, and some person running, working at Twitter, and says, "You gotta delete this shit." Uh, yeah, I think that you're gonna do it. Delete this. Yes. <laughs> delete Fucking this. delete this. Bang bang. Sorry. Um, <laughs> hey, I knew the guys who made that video, act. by the way. Really? Mm -hmm. I used yeah. to know Stiggs, yeah. Stiggs mm -hmm. came into our fucking uh, team speak at one point. I used to know the guy, the guy called Jake as well. So. <laughs> you, you ever seen a? Hang on, sorry. Uh, I'm gonna take a break here just for a second. So, in terms of if we're if we're, we're showing off uh, old uh, Efsler uh, cred, I know this guy. I've known him for years. Um, I'm, a lot of people probably seen this. I think I won't get in trouble for playing this. Um, Every time you say that, we always get copyrighted. No, because I I don't think it's ever been an issue. Wait, <clears throat> what? My dad works for Nintendo. He'll get your Steam account banned. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What the fuck? There it is. Okay. Yeah, I know the guy who made this. I I, I met him uh, fifteen fucking years ago in a mindless self indulgence forum when it was BBS age. This guy, if you've not seen this guy's, oh Mike guys, Diva, I, yeah. I like Mike Diva stuff. Yeah, <laughs> okay, yeah, I've known Mike Diva for fifteen fucking years. We haven't talked wow. in, in eight probably, but yeah, <laughs> just a little blast from the past on this one. Because <laughs> oh my god, it's so cringe now, but I do kind of still like it. <laughs>
Did you see this right, Spoon? If only. If only. If o I know, if only. If only. I wish this were real. Uh. <laughs> if only. <laughs> it would be amazing. Spirit, have you seen this? Yes, you can. Oh, okay. Oh, I'll share it to you. Okay. <laughs> I figured I'd probably send it to you. But yeah, I know the guy who made it. He did the kazoo kit. Yeah, he did. <laughs> One of the best memes ever. <laughs> oh, man, if only. <laughs> I feel like Trump was 1% as awesome as this video, like this made him seem. <laughs> that would have been great. Yes, oh. Trumpu, become the robot. <laughs> Build the wall. Yes. Fuck this gay earth. Yes, fuck this gay earth. Trump 2016. Yeah, so there's there's my old, old um, uh, slur. There you ah, go. Mike Davis, good stuff. Yeah, he is government who has the ability to regulate these private companies government which has the ability to tax these private companies he says that white house email to twitter involved a tweet from robert f kennedy jr and everything in the tweet was true that tweet implied falsely that baseball legend uh, hank aaron's death was caused by the covid vaccine did they take it turned out they did it thank goodness but one well, well, yeah I don't, what are they gonna do with this shit they, they know they've got like maybe four years left online about the covid stuff and that post is still up Kate Starbird says the social Look media how fucking platform sad she is. Like, just clearly her life is, the there's no happiness in it The whatsoever. statistics I've seen are just for the Twitter platform, but I, my understanding is is that they responded to about 30% of the things that we sent them. And I think the on the majority of- Because the rest of it, probably not even 30% of it was legitimate, because you're sitting there crying, like you are right now, about shit you see on Twitter that upsets you, because people have different opinions than you. That's all that well, is. One in three is not a bad whole monitor no, rate. If anything, one in, if anything, like 30% is worrying. Yes, uh, that that they responded to one in three of your probably all, like ninety percent false reports. If 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 it's, if it's even that, uh, I mean, that's that a liberal estimate to say it, it's ninety percent. It's probably more like ninety eight. Just bullshit you saw. That's a uh, little bit uh, information that you just don't like. You know, those they put labels, but just a third. But just a third. Yeah, and just do you a third. Suspect that Facebook Insane. was the same. Oh, and, and... Yeah, these platforms have their own First Amendment rights. Katie Harbeth spent hmm? a decade at Facebook, where she helped develop its policies around election misinformation. When she was there, she says it was not unusual for the government to ask Facebook to remove content, which is proper as long as the government is not coercing. Cons what? That's so... Not... Wow. That's so oh. funny. How is it inherently not coercive when the U.S. fucking government... When when some big uh, you know letter agency contacts you and says you better remove that, how is that not coercive? Inherent. Well, especially when Facebook has you know government contracts. Exactly, it's inherently coercive. What a ridiculous thing to say. Conservatives are alleging that the platforms were taking down content at the behest of the government, yeah, which yeah. is not true. The platforms yeah, made their own decisions and uh, via coercion. Yeah, many what? times we were pushing back on the government. Can we talk about? How are you pushing back on the government? specific case. It's of Nancy Pelosi. It's a doctor tape where she's, uh, she looks drunk. We want to give this president the opportunity looks drunk? to do something historic. This was the video of then House Speaker Pelosi posted to Facebook in 2019. I forgot they took this down. down to make it seem that she was slurring her words. Did it come down? Yeah, but there are plenty of other videos of Pelosi sounding drunk as fuck. But no, wait, the video they showed on the left looks speeded up. Maybe it was then. I mean, who knows? They fucking lie about everything. It did not. Why? Because it didn't violate the policies that they- Yeah, because even if it was slowed down, why does it violate your policies to slow something down? If she- if you slow it down, she sounds drunk. You can do that to anybody. They could do that to you. They were allowed to. That's called free speech, you fat- Hmm. <clears throat> they had. So did she put pressure on the company to take it down? She was definitely not pleased. <laughs> she definitely <laughs> that wanted- That's a yes. yes. And it really damaged the relationship that the company had with her. That's wow. A... I mean, why do they just admit shit like this? Are they just flexing? Yeah. Is it, yeah, yeah, look, that pissed pa me off, so you better... <laughs> so, you better take that Power down. needs to be seen. Exactly. Yes, I guess that's so. They, like, yeah, let me flex and show you that if you allow people to say things that I don't like, uh, I'm going to make trouble for you.
Conservatives campaign faced a setback at the Supreme Court on Monday when a majority of the justices seemed poised to reject their effort to limit attempts by the government to influence social media. Yeah, because they shouldn't be allowed to. It's insane. Why would you like, like this bitch, I'm sure thinks of herself as a journalist. She works for, you know, what is a CBS or whatever. Uh, you want the, don't you think it would be a violation of journalistic ethics if, if the government had to tell you what you could and could not report on? Now, you already do that, so you not personally, probably. But from an, a purely, like, academic perspective, saying, do you think that the government should be able to tell journalists what they can and cannot report on? I love that line there. The relationship we had with her, implying that they had a close yeah. relationship with a politician that, yeah, pre that, that is based oh, yeah, on the fact that yeah. she can ask them to take stuff down. Right. Oh, yeah, had we a had a close relationship. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't think many conservative it. officials in the U.S. could say that they had a relationship with Facebook. Exactly. Exactly, yeah. The court is deciding in separate cases whether the platforms are like news organizations with a First Amendment right to control who... See, yeah, she's got the right. She has the right. But not you, pleb, citizen. <laughs> you don't have any fucking rights. And what information we get to tell you. Appears... What, what was the, the famous one? Is that like, no, that is our job. Um, oh, um, yes, was Mike Brzezinski. the media one. Yeah, don't. Yeah, it's the CNN as well. Yeah, CNN. So, yeah, was that? Uh, it's it's, uh, it's our job to tell people what to. Oh, it, yes, was it Mika Brzezinski? You said yeah, it's our 100%. job to tell people what to think. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's our job. Yeah. On their sites, Congressman Jordan argues that the tech I love when they just shouldn't remove tell most themselves. of what they call misinformation. I think you let the American people respect the American people, their common sense, to figure out what's accurate, what isn't. Well, what about this idea that they, the 2020 election was stolen? You think what about the idea that the 2016 election was stolen? Because you guys have said that you, Look, I'm just, I'm, I hate it. I, I'll never stop bringing like... up the dichotomy. I'll never stop bringing up the dichotomy because it's. I'm, I won't let that go. Because if you're going to keep doing this, then I'll keep doing that. Fucking retard. Unfortunately, the, the, the dichotomy doesn't matter. I know. Um, I, but I know. anyway, I, I, it's infuriating. It's that, I agree. It, yes, it's always that thing of that like, <laughs> of imagine if things were reversed. Uh, they don't give a shit. They're they're playing power politics in a way that the conservatives are not willing to do. You should That's allow people to say that. About the conservatives. And individuals can make yeah. up their own mind, and that there should I think be. The American people are smart. Look, look uh, not I, really. I've not said that. What I've said is there were concerns about the 2020 election. I think no, Americans agree stupid. with that. No, they don't. Look, you don't think they think yes, there were concerns do. with the 2020 election? Most. Yeah. That's, that's, people that's don't useful. don't question the result. Yes, that's they all do. I'm saying. They don't question. Most people don't question the result. Well, I mean, it's probably. I don't think it's most. No, it is. I think it is now. I believe even the most the estimates I saw was, was over sixty percent of Americans now are con questioning the the twenty sixteen election, including a bunch of Democrats. That's the majority, then. That's most. At least I, I, was that Rasmussen or Pewdiepie? I don't remember, but I, I remember seeing that. We looked at it on the stream before. It's it's. I think it's over sixty percent. It's fifty one, even by I liberal ones. I think. Yeah, I think even by the the, the most uh, yeah liberal estimates. The uh, one I saw was like fifty one to sixty, so it's, it's yeah. very high. Because yeah, uh, Usually was it, talking about that, and it doesn't. Right. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that people right. believe that. No, they, they just keep well. Well, vote harder next time. Doesn't matter if it was. <laughs> well, oh, we went through that the other day. Don't mention that a stream. Little, that stream struggle. Pissed. We had a little bit of a struggle session with Uzlo the other day. I'd say that, that, that stream was. It was one of the few times where I'm like, this is like legitimately pissing me off. <laughs> I can't. I can't watch this. Just oh, the goalpost shifting was insane. It's all good, but yeah, we did a little bit of a. Scrum had a little bit of a struggle session with Uzzle yeah. the other day. Just uh, Scrum's, I could hear the pain in Scrum's voice when he just went, when, <laughs> when, <laughs> when. <laughs> Give me an example. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. When has I, do, I do do that sometimes. Yeah. Um, we didn't get one. By the way, uh, Scrum, I can um, tell you were so nice as well. <laughs> You're like, but when? When has this ever happened? <laughs> well, we're we're all friends with Uzlu. We weren't trying to like attack him, but um, he just yeah. he is he is a very and optimistic I, I know, view of things. I think. But I've I've heard Scrump when, like, he's beginning to sort of fray his patience, and I could tell there were moments where like Scrump is like, "Oh my god, like, why well, I want to lay into this fucker so badly <laughs> when he's just too nice." Or not. Right. Right. What? Most people don't oh, question okay. the no. outcome. Right. Yes, Act they do. basically did what but Jordan okay. proposes. After Elon Musk took over in 2022, did they most just of cut the interview off there? Were fired. Yeah. Wow. Right. Just like what? 
I mean, even though he was wrong, though, is that, it, is that she just wanted that, is that she would, all she wanted him to say is that most people don't question. That's not even true. Not even by polling. If it's 51%, that's most. Just statistically speaking. I mean, it's a plurality, at least. Uh, well, no, it's 51%. It's not even the plurality. That is the majority. What are you talking about? Yeah. Welcome to basic Now mathing. the site is rife with trash talk and lies. Sorry, my brain. Oh, my God. Little did Otherwise you know that fun. this, said to be footage from Gaza, is really from a video game. Eventually, X Who cares? That's what that's what the community knows is for. Yes. Pictures of real babies killed in Israeli strikes are falsely dismissed as dolls. The toothpaste is out of the tube, and we have to figure out how to deal with the resulting mess. But that didn't happen. That's... No, and then also the babies in ovens thing didn't fucking happen. Yeah. So, oh, this is just this is such insane fucking bullshit. Absolutely Daniel ludicrous. Resch, a senior fellow of yeah. technology is innovation at the Brookings Institution says oh, the Brookings. clash over what is uh, true uh, yeah. is fraying our institutions well and threatening democracies and around the world. Half of the world is voting uh, this year, and the world could stick with democracy or move towards authoritarianism. Oh Excuse God, me. I wish. Right <laughs> Extremely dangerous to our democracy. Hey, perfect. I would the danger is this disinformation cool. could decide the elections <laughs> in a number of different countries. In the U.S., he says, the right wing has been flooding the internet with reams of misleading information. Yeah, it's just the oh, right wing who oh, does oh, that. These people are so it. ludicrous. Absolutely insane. The thing Only is, the I, right wing does that. When I watch it's American TV stuff like this, I can, oh, because it's so obviously terrible. Mm -hmm. I can. My brain goes into a mode where I'm analyzing who this is meant for. Right, and I yeah, can't yeah, help but see that this is meant for somebody who has about ninety IQ, yep. who thinks they're the cleverest person in the room, because yep. all they deal with all day is people with eighty IQ. Right, yes, and that's who this is meant for. I'm also yep. afraid that this is meant for women. This is oh, very oh, this much is one thousand. Per this is women coded as fuck. Yes, yes. This is this is very heavily meant to be aimed at women and midwit women. Unfortunately, again, they have about. IQ, so it really fits. Yeah. But you're going to kind of build a model in your head of who the propaganda is meant for. Because right, exactly. all of you out there, you are immune to at least this kind of propaganda. Like, this kind of shit does not affect people over a certain threshold of disagreeability yeah. or certain threshold of intelligence. Yes. But by watching this, you start to get this idea of, like, right, who they how stupid, yeah. how <laughs> stupid <laughs> would I have to be to be convinced by this. Right. And that's what I, when I see an advert, when I see an A, you know, when I see a YouTube video, when I see a news report, and when, when I read a story in a newspaper, mm -hmm. I think, okay, how cognitively impaired would I have to be <laughs> to believe this? And then you can give a picture of maybe what that market research has shown who the yes. average voter is. Mm -hmm. And once you build a, a picture in your head of who the propaganda is aimed at and who the mass of people must be, that starts to get a little bit terrifying because you start to realize that these people are a lot more stupid than even we think. Right. They, they are absolute sorry, it's just fucking like troglodytes. It it's just really it, again, terrifying the way you just chat, said. You know, I, I haven't wish, looked at the chat in a minute. It's just the way that you just said. <laughs> you yeah. How stupid is the person he is who believes this shit? I'm like, right. God damn, that's a fucked up way to think. I mean, I, I had it this full screen, so I haven't looked is. at the chat in a minute. Mm. But the thing is that, like, yeah, I would imagine everyone in the chat is, is infuriated by this, about how dumb this is. But again, they would not make this if it didn't work. They wouldn't yeah. produce uh, pieces like this if there weren't people who were utterly convinced by it. And, and yeah. I think it's not all IQ because... Uh, that's part of it. But again, like, you know, my, my friend Laura, who was very, as far as I could tell, a very intelligent uh, young woman, just got taken for a ride by all this shit. Because it's, I think it's what, it, it's, it's IQ, yes, is a part of it. But if you are, if you really want to believe in this stuff, then you can allow yourself to become ideologically possessed, even if you are of a slightly higher intelligence. And you can just kind of shut off the part of your brain that, that actively functions on, it's on just, logic and reason a lot of the research i've seen is they use the well, i i always use the term disagreeability mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. to do with how combative your internal yeah. value structure is with the outside value structure sure and if you are agreeable in that sense if you are agreeable to your informational environment you are just going to go along with it no matter what. Yeah. That's most why people. would they lie to me right yeah and mo mo again most people spend their entire lives in stuff the, the mm -hmm. television will sp if you turn on cnn or you turn on msnbc or even something like abc you'll have propaganda like this spewed at you 
all day. Yeah, and that has yeah. an effect. It does have a does. soaking in effect unless oh, you are somebody that's who called is cultivation actually... theory. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless you are actually somebody like us who are like political weirdos with our own bizarre <laughs> frameworks. But yeah. that that's all I see when I when I look at content like this. I'm like, right. Yeah. Uh, it's who, so who is this? For? Is but but it clearly is for somebody and it clearly works or they wouldn't make it. In order to confuse the public. <laughs> And he's alarmed by the campaign to silence the academic researchers. Oh, had no, to spend the money academic and time researchers. Demands from Jim Jordan's Judiciary Committee. There are people who make the accusation that going after these researchers, misinformation researchers, is tantamount to harassment. And what? what the this is the shit that about? I caught. Is it if you if you if you in any way question their research or their methodology they say it's harassment that's what they did with me over that attack helicopter study a half a year ago now you, you can't report on our data you can't report on our data that we publish it publicly in academic uh, literature in journals you're harassing us then don't fucking publish it if you don't feel confident enough in your research for it to be scrutinized then don't fucking publish it it's absolute fucking shame the entire idea of the academy makes me sick, dude. I hate that shit. Oh my god, they get so under my skin. That's the one that really gets me. I can't stand Please. that stuff. Yes, yes, I read over the academic stuff, and you know this. <laughs> and that your goal really is to chill the research. I, I find chill that, the, the research. The research is wrong. No, question it. As in, in effect, what they're doing is chilling First Amendment free speech rights. When, when they're True. working in an effort to censor Americans, that's a chilling impact on speech. They say what you're doing. They do. Is a violation of their First Amendment so rights. Pointing oh, fuck Excuse off. me. So, you questioning their research is a violation of their First Amendment rights. But them appealing to social media companies to shut down people's ability to to speak freely on those platforms is not a violation of First Amendment. How do you even That's just so like try to circle me. that square? I I don't understand it how is. like even the most retarded person could try to make sense of that argument. It it's no. again. He's, he yeah. seems quite baffled yeah, by I'm this baffled. Kind of questioning. Because I'm baffled as well. I mean, I, I feel the same as, as, as Jim Jordan in this conversation. I'm like, what? <laughs> you, wait, what? It is baffling because it, it's nonsensical. Us doing our constitutional duty of oversight of the executive branch and somehow <laughs> we're censoring? That makes no sense. He is. He's flabbergasted. He doesn't know what the fuck to respond. I wouldn't know how to respond to that either. Sense to me. We, Americans. We're looking at the same thing and seeing a different truth. Well, you might see different things. I don't think you can see the different truth because truth is truth. Mm -hmm. Okay. The, the researchers say they're being chilled. What is she There's saying? different truths. The is researchers say chilled? they're being chilled. The chilled, fuck does that yes. Mean? It and, means uh, that people aren't agreeing with them and they yes. don't like it. It, it yeah. oh, it has a chilling. Oh, you've you you saying that has a chilling effect. It's it's such like. Bullshit. Yeah. I always hate that. I always, oh, it has a chilling effect. It doesn't do anything, but it has a chilling effect. Just like, shut up. That means you have yeah. nothing. Yes, it means, it's really like, it means that people are questioning them. And if you dare question the, the, uh, the, their hegemony, then they're having a chilling effect. How dare you? And they're the ones in charge. They're the academics. They are the priests. How dare you question the priestly class? That's their truth. Yeah. You were saying they're not. So what is the that's truth? Their truth? They can do their research. God bless them. Do all the research you want. Don't use. No, research is not their truth. Research is truth. Data are or not. That that's it. It's truth or not. I I oh god that's shit. Sorry, I didn't I didn't I didn't watch this before, so I didn't know this was gonna make me so pissed off. But okay. Don't don't say uh we 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 think this particular tweet is not true uh and or. or well, that's their First Amendment they're, right they're, to say that. You, well, they can say it, but they can't take it down. Well, they can't take it down, and they don't. They what? They, they did it, take it, it that's down. That's literally what their job is, you stupid fucking bitch. But Jesus they Christ. did take it down. So you okay? They did take it down, and then you're saying, but you can't. But you have to be nice to them and what respect do you think their, their fucking research. Job is, you this is insane, moron. This is absolutely. Is this how people? Is, is speaking as someone who's very critical of academia, obviously, is this really? the degree of deference uh, that yeah. average that like midwits give to the academy yes hu hugely yes they they believe that they are a priestly class yes um to they they basically believe that the world is too complex yeah for them to understand some scientists to do it yeah. for them 
they 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 think it is it, 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 it they do not feel they can have enough information to understand the function of each part of kind of the bureaucracy and the the academic stuff around them. Sure. So, and to, yeah. to an extent, some of that is true for the average person. They just don't have the time well, and, and, and cognitive energy investment available. They, but no, that doesn't mean to just give deference inherent and, and trust it without question. I don't believe the problem most is of this people whole... in the bureaucracy oh, understand what they're fucking supposed to be doing. <laughs> no true. shit. No. <laughs> of, of, <laughs> of course not. But the overload of information and rules and regulations and just sheer size and number of the institutions involved it forces people to a lot of the time could see within themselves that there must be some unseen class of people who know what's going on mm -hmm. and that these people are necessary they are wise and they are what keeps society running but this is again this is what they've been taught and so though, though most people most people have extreme deference for anyone who calls himself a scientist or an academic and especially if the state turns around and goes oh by the way that person is a scientist and an academic and they go oh 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 the government acknowledges you well until they call you a heretic yes well that's what that's how they basically uh, right. revoke your credentialism yep but until it, they call you a heretic which we'll get to um actually we can do that next it, you want to talk about it? Oh yeah, if if, if you are, on, on on GB News. <laughs> oh my god, I guess if you are a rage not academic, you get extreme amounts of deference from people. That's what the lockdowns were about. That's how yes. the lockdowns worked. Yes. Just um, just just listen listen and believe. Listen and believe to the academics. That, don't, that was absolutely don't, so don't go real. read they actively told people not to go read scientific literature. I couldn't I I mean of course I could believe it, but it was just it to me it was it was shocking. Wasn't um, there some it, people? They were the, they were like the ports of the New York Times that just said like critical thinking is bad. Yes, they were. Po I think it was the New York Times or or the the Wall Street Journal or one of those uh, major publications that said that yeah, like critical that don't that critical thinking is bad because it makes you question the the conclusions of the experts and you just need to just trust the experts. I couldn't. I think I covered that in the video at one point or we covered it on stream. It was crazy. Just send their information to the companies but when they're coordinating with government that's a different animal yes okay. well of course they deny they're coordinating well too bad they got found oh, out fuck off they lied how did how they this is this is new this was found out last yeah. year so why are they still repeating this because, because they can people believe it i guess so yeah yeah we just went round and round i want yeah because you're a liar all right yeah no he, mu he must have i to say he 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 edited the she edited the interview there so he had yeah. no rep again she's done that yeah. twice yes of course, they always do that. They always do that. They can't help themselves. Well, that's on purpose. Um, this was kind of cute. And then let's well, speaking though of the the GB news thing. Let's move into that. Uh, oh my thing? God, it's a very short, it's fairly it's a fairly short exchange, uh, uh, which is that uh, Kennedy. Speaking of the ex speaking of the experts, here's the climate change expert, uh, a spider a expert, woman? if you will. A spider what are you expert. About yes. That? <laughs> I'm. I went to high school, but that's a. Uh... Carbon dioxide is a American cross country ski Olympian, okay, yes. but uh, okay, I'm not going to be a, I'm not presenting himself though as a climate change expert to talk about carbon dioxide so much. But well, you, you want us to abolish it, right? No, I, <laughs> there's always going to be carbon dioxide, right? So, so what is it you want us to do? I mean, this is the like, I, <laughs> I just. They don't, they, they just repeat shit. It's so funny to watch this NPC behavior. It just, uh, I find it eternally amusing. I, uh, let me back up. Cause I, I want to, I mean, you're here as an expert. Tell me more about what carbon How dioxide is. kid? Is. I'm here. I don't know. It's like early it's 20s, like 20. but it's probably something, but like, why do they have this kid here? I mean, what, just, just so, so Kennedy can shit on him i don't know it's funny as fuck though so i'm gonna laugh at it there's an expert cross-country skier who sees the changes in my winters and the landscape that i live in in alaska and so carbon dioxide is what i see it as is you know it's a gas that exists in our atmosphere and what? is it the major part of our atmosphere or? it's a huge part of our no. atmosphere yeah it's actually a very small part of our atmosphere well okay <laughs> <laughs> His face is just going, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> well, kid, well, you're this... blowing it. You're uh, blowing yeah, it, kid. You're blowing it, kid. I think uh, if you were to ask him but... how, what, what percentage of the atmosphere is carbon dioxide, I don't think he actually would know. Uh, I think we're going to get to that. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't know. What are you asking specifically? Uh, well, you said we need to reduce carbon dioxide emissions. I'd like to know first if you know what it is. You want us to abolish fossil fuels? I never said that. You never have said that? No. Okay. What, what do you think we ought to do with fossil fuels? What will we do with fossil fuels? Yeah. Should we make any changes? I would like to see a this is This is just, it's just, like, I'm not the biggest fan of Kennedy, obviously. Uh, like, I'm not simp or anything. But this is just hilarious. It, it is like a, a, a dad talking to, like, a retarded toddler. Oh, yeah. It's so, that I've had, the thing is, I've had this experience in real life. I have quite too. a yeah. lot yeah. where i've just tried to talk this well in some a lot of it's not even me being mean mm -mm. or combative i'm, I'm trying, trying to, to work them, out what, what what do you believe what the fuck are you saying yes <laughs> basically it's like okay what's your point yes exactly <laughs> and usually exactly. they ain't got one yeah increase in the use of fossil fuels i think there's a possibility to use more electric generation okay over oh yeah how do you get electricity interesting uh, over what shit. period of time 10 years 50 years 100 years that's not i would like to see it come as fast as possible while continuing how fast on. sorry how fast i'm not i don't have a you don't know that no okay no, of you course think well uh how, how much will it cost for us to uh become carbon neutral in the united states by 2050 i'm not a professional on that i don't have an idea why are you here then you don't have any idea <laughs> to get no. mobbed you just essentially think, well, spend the money i'm not an economist yeah <laughs> you're not, <laughs> you're not anything dude your yeah, kid. but we've also talked about the the trade-off of what the cost of climate change as emergencies will come. Like, what, why would they do this? Why would they send this kid up here as a sacrificial lamb to make himself look like a fucking idiot? It's so dumb. What What is the point of this? I, I mean, I think it's funny. Again, I'm enjoying it just as, as amusing, but like, why do they do this? I think because he was in the Olympics. Yeah. It might just be the like, look, get like an Olympic dude to go yeah. and make goo goo eyes at some democrat female senator and we'll use those oh, as yeah. the clips so yeah, those will yeah. be the clips that were on like msnbc probably. right right yeah i'm sure all american boy right. but it's going to cost trillions of dollars to become carbon neutral by 20,050 right i do not know you don't know you just nah, see the problem with what you said though spoon is that he's white oh that's no good i think we ought to do it i I don't have a great answer for you, but I think okay. I would. If we spent if we neutral. spent those trillions of dollars and became carbon neutral by 2050 in the United States, um, would you advocate how much will it reduce world temperatures? I don't have an answer for that. You know, <laughs> just, just every like, well, time. Spend the money and then see what happens. I do think this is kind. Of, is this mean? Is this too mean? No. Of just just embarrassing the shit out of this kid. I because no. I think it's hilarious. As an athlete, I think if we spend that money and then invest as in the future, athlete? What hopefully the athlete? those fuck? Yeah. temperatures stop Does that rising, mean? and maybe the snow at Nothing. least stabilizes where it is for me. But yeah, I don't think anyone knows for sure. I don't know anyway. Well, when 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 People my colleagues invite sure. witnesses to come to us to tell us, uh, advise us on passing legislation, I always check out the background of our witnesses because I like to know who I'm talking to. Uh oh. Um, I'm, I checked yours out, Mr. Schumacher, um, and I want to be sure I understand it as I evaluate your testimony. Uh, on June 8th, 2020, you tweeted, I'm going to quote. <laughs> I hate that they have to say, you the tweeted in Congress. The was intentionally like created to know. incarcerate black people en masse, end quote. The war on drugs uh, uh, was intentionally X created. To uh, yeah, exactly, excuse me. Excuse you also, Kennedy. Incarcerate black people en masse. Who intentionally created the war on drugs to put black people in jail? Who were you talking about? I don't, remember typing, that. I don't <laughs> remember typing that. God, when did I tweet so this? <laughs> no, no, it's on your Twitter. Uh, I, I hope I never end up hearing like stupid like, uh, Mr. Scrub Monkey. Uh, <laughs> in 2017. <laughs> You tweeted. You, you yeah, in 2018, you tweeted a you tweeted a picture of a uh, a cartoon car target. Did you not? Uh, <laughs> and that target was full of bullet holes, was it not? And you you inserted the caption. Uh, Some of you guys are all right. Don't go to car arts tomorrow. Did you not, Mister Scrub Monkey? I do. I admit my crimes and I do them again. <laughs> Based. <laughs> I feel like if they did that for Maybe me, they would just look at me and go, um, 
Uh, they're just like, Mr. Hayes? Um, yes, sir. Um, there is a oh, picture here. Oh, you said your name. No, yeah, me. You yeah. fucking talked yourself. I think this is my son. Right. Could, they don't know my first name. And they will never, ever guess my first name, so I'm fine. I, um, I've said your first name on this channel before, so you... No, they haven't. You're fucked. No, you No, could. I have. Okay. No one even knows my first name. Don't worry about it. I do. <laughs> yeah, but who gives a shit? You're not going to fucking talk to me. Who gives a crap? But anyway, uh, no, they would just look at me and just go, um, this used to be a picture of uh, Mickey Mouse saying a certain F word. Yeah, you've posted I, this I know. In, in the last year, you've posted this uh, picture 25 times. <laughs> Why is that? I was like, uh, well, sir, there's a lot of F words on Twitter. And uh, mm -hmm. I don't regret any one of them. <laughs> I'll do it again. I love the uh -oh. same words of Scrum. Uh what? Someone in chat has just said, Spoon is now more dateable. Oh, no. <laughs> Why, because we're Hayes? That was the name of a game. Who gives a crap? It's not Clinton, for God's sake. <laughs> God, remember, you remember, remember Hayes? Remember that was by the Halo killer? Oh, that was a bad game. Yeah. Oh, Hayes, we're a shit game, wasn't it? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh. Do you remember Ken and Lynch? <laughs> Lynch come up in in some fucking oh some video I did where the author's name was Kane and or Lynch and I made a meme oh, about yeah. it. Bill recommended. This was, this was a oh don't tell ago. Jeff Gerstrom you know um, yeah, fucking yeah. Kane and Lynch too being the reason Giant Bomb exists. Oh it um, was it was a it was Legacy of Kane and Lynch that was the joke. <laughs> legacy of Kane and the Legacy of oh, Kane and Lynch yeah. is fucking GameSpot splitting in half is what it was. <laughs> yeah. God that was a deep long cut. Time. That was a very that was two thousand and fucking eight yeah it was yeah, a long time. Jesus God Christ. Damn. I still oh have vague God. memories of that. It, it, it shows your support, right? Maybe, yeah. I, but it's not the topic of this conversation. I right, think. right. But it has to do with you're here giving us advice, and I just kind of like to know a little bit more about your. Yeah, I'm. You. I mean, I'm here as an athlete giving you my story advice on climate change on, on August twenty seventh of two thousand twenty. What, what the fucking point is this at all? You tweeted this quote. I'm gonna quote. Police are paid with taxpayer dollars. If they are not answerable to us, we can demand new service, and that's what this is. Abolish the police <laughs> in favor of that new service, end quote. You think we ought to abolish the police, do you? Again, not the topic I'm here to talk about today. I know, but, but you Answer the question. Do you think we ought to abolish the police? That's not what I'm here to talk about. Should we do that Curious. before or after we get rid of fossil fuels? <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious, you know, though. You don't want to address it. Okay. Uh, let me ask you about one more of your tweets. Uh, like I can't stand like Neo kinds, but I do. I do love when they they might someone like this. I I hate to say it, but they do do this as political theater sometimes. They do oh, bring yeah. in Absolutely. some idiot and get them because because yeah. they do it with like e celebs. You'll yeah, see yeah. like Jordan uh, Peterson yeah. start wailing on some dumb leftists again to try and yeah. win back some points after being shown to be one of the most repugnant shills yeah. in existence. Right. These days exactly. is awful now. And yeah, it might just be them trying to create like you know, neocon GOP points owning the libs. Yeah, probably. It's so funny, so I'm just gonna enjoy it for the the comedy uh, of errors that it is. But yeah, I I don't know how how they why is this guy here? I don't understand. I'm just gonna laugh at it. Uh, he's I, either I here it seriously. Yeah. He's either here to make sound bites with the, with whatever Democrats yeah. asking him questions before or after this, right? Or he's here to be a punching bag. Or maybe or it's other. just both. both. <laughs> Perhaps both. Yeah, I go with both. You tweeted, there's a picture, I'm not going to describe the picture, but you <laughs> said, quote, your words, not mine, it's on your Twitter feed, the, quote, this is what systemic racism looks like. Oh, God. The Los Angeles Police Department is literally policing only the Black Lives Matter side, end quote. Maybe because they're the only ones committing crime. This is still off topic. No, it's not. You're here as an expert telling us, advising us, and I'm asking you about your, your, your background. I'm here as an athlete to talk about the effects of climate change on... What? I'm here as an athlete. I just can't. I can't. Okay, let's go back. So and I'm almost out of time. How stupid this is. I'm losing it, Aiden. This is... I'm just... What, well, how fucking dumb. Okay. I'm losing it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Serenity now. <laughs> oh, serenity now. Serenity now. Come on. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Tell me, I'm, I'm not going to... 
make a fucking watch together for this, so let's just go. Oh, I'm very pleased. <laughs> oh, Mr. <laughs> let's Mug. Just go. Oh my I, god. I, waking up to see this the other day. Uh, oh, my... I was I was so confused <laughs> looking at my Twitter feed and be like, Wait, I what? had <laughs> I had prior notice of this, and I'll say okay. that. That yeah, AA was that. kicking the idea around a little bit in a couple of DM groups it and stuff. <laughs> and we were just like it's funny, but probably don't do it. But probably don't um, do it. You, you couldn't pay me enough to be on GB News. I will I will never... It's funny because the tweet came out where he said he'd never be on GB News. Yeah, you were uh-huh. yeah. I yeah. did, I did. He got a bit of a ribbon for it, but this was ex- this is extraordinary because as I as he I said him afterwards, mog, to be fair, he does mog mog, but he's also sat there like giving him the thin end of like yeah. the framework wedge, as in like the dissident right framework wedge. I'm sat here going like this is deeply surreal. But anyway, we'll just well, that, that we, you, you, you're uh, even more so. So I would say broadly speaking, all three of us are would probably describe ourselves as dissident right. Yeah, at this point. some point, yeah. Uh, or something to that effect, yeah. Whatever it's called this week, yeah. W- w- yes, whatever the <laughs> fuck it's called this week. Uh, but uh... <laughs> I thought we were the sensible centre. I thought we were in our ex. <laughs> right. No, I'm not a Canadian. Uh, oh, I've described myself as NRX in the past, so I mean, you know, <laughs> that's the problem, though. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, this was just absolutely bizarre to see... Uh, if you guys don't know in the chat, this is Academic Agent B on is, GB News. This is, yes, this is Nina Panini, yes. Yes. Nina by, Panini, yes. To be Thank joined you. That's now his, by his Nima name. Parvini, academic and author of The Populist Delusion. Well, Nima, thank you so much for joining me. Tell me, what is The Populist Delusion? Well, uh, thanks for having me, uh, Jacob. Um, the Populist Delusion is a book, uh, basically... Which about, you do own. Uh, and I do suggest somewhat challenges the am, uh, yeah. line of history that uh, you've just given, um, uh, namely that uh, processes are bottom up and democratic in the way that you outline. It takes a more uh, realist view of <laughs> politics and power, which is something that I think that the current moment is actually teaching us in real time. Um, and uh, in fact, if I to give my response to the Khan review, it may outline where some of these disagreements about democratic freedoms may uh, lie between us. Okay, uh, and what I would argue about... It's so weird, because I've, I've seen AA speak in public before, and I've seen public speeches of him. He's just He seems nervous here, more than normal. I mean, I can understand why, I suppose. I I, th- I think he's just trying not to like jump through this. He's 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 trying to like silence his inner voice to basically scream at him, Tory boy, Tory boy. Um, <laughs> that's what I'd be doing. Yeah. You know, in my head would just be going, Tory boy, Tory is boy. Is that what it is? Yeah. Tory. It's his inner like. He, he, that's not him being nervous. That that's his inner no, instinct oh. to like uh, okay. destroy the Tories. Barely yeah, yeah. Because I was gonna say it, it, it was it's an unusual sort of a. Uh, I've not I've not seen him that. Uh, yeah, contained, I've I've really yeah. seen him contained like that. So yeah, that, that's just contained. The last the, the, the overall we need to call Reese Morgatory boy. <laughs> I, I guess say that's I've only ever seen AA rattled once, and that's when a fight broke out. Um, <laughs> so, so, that's that's a story I'm not telling though. Um, <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's just the it's okay. It's the overwhelming desire to want to call Mog a Tory boy. I see. And by the way, um, somebody said <laughs> which, to me, which which he he sort of does later a little bit, or at least. By the way, uh, Scrum, someone said to me that bit. um, Jacob Rees Mogg is the English equivalent of Mitch McConnell. Sort of. Uh. Sort of. Rees Mogg no. has monarchist sympathies, uh, to be fair, but he's not what we should be looking for in any way. Uh, as monarchist spoon, I'd say. If that makes sense. Anywho. Our constitution is that almost all our constitution and developments uh, come about by accident or through conflict. I mean, if you go right the way back to 1265, um, Simon de Montfort is rowing with the king, and therefore the burgesses are called to parliament. It isn't some carefully thought through democratic principle. Uh, likewise, Magna Carta is a row between the king and mm-hmm and the barons, and that we have developed in this way, but not because anyone sat down and thought it through. No, no, I mean, uh, essentially my view is that the 
the history of a any country as a history of its elites and history of mm -hmm. essentially uh, rival elite factions. Um, the the issue that I have really with, I mean, your history lesson was very interesting, uh, Jacob, and I listened intently. But the the idea that the nation is built on democratic freedom, I think, is a little far fetched. Uh, yeah. As far as I can see, there has never been any time in history when the ideal of free speech has been achieved. Uh, even if one abolishes mm -hmm. religion, one can never abolish political theology, which has a tendency towards absolutism. Yep. Um, free speech tends to be reserved for the friends of those in power. And now, I know that you're embarrassed about him for doing this, but I think he's still making a very good argument. He, I'm not embarrassed. I just think it always comes with risk and it actually comes with very little reward. True. These kind of True. appearances. So that 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 was my assessment. I think that but it, a lot of a lot of people think anybody sorry, heard this and would have gotten out anything positive from it. Is I think the people benefit? who heard this and understood it already know who AA is. Okay, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Probably true. Okay, never mind. Never if mind. you're yeah. Yeah, if, if you're a Tory <laughs> voter and you're hearing this, I'm afraid most of the time it's in one ear, out the other, mm -hmm. or you're getting upset, going, "Oh, who's this idiot arguing with?" Um, yeah. and that's, and then you'll maybe get one person who half watches an AA video. Uh, I'm afraid the impact of these things is actually quite low. No, I think you're correct on that. Actually, and, and the data are, are, are evidence that out as well. Restricted for the enemies of those in power. Uh, you mentioned the French Revolution. I mean, you can look at what happened there. Um, Edmund Burke famously tried to ban Thomas Paine's Rights of Man. Mm -hmm. Uh, our minds instinctively turn to the mass book burnings in mid-century Germany, but it's often forgotten that the Allies uh, also had thousands of German books pulped, and they even had the typesets of the printing presses melted down. During the Cold War, you could not be an open Soviet sympathizer, which is one reason why the left during that time advocated a free speech. People forget that once upon a time mm -hmm. the left ruled for free speech, uh, now, of course, the left is in power everywhere, even as the Tories nominally hold government. And so, of course, conservative opinions are banned. And uh, if I may be frank, uh, Jacob, one of the issues is that nominally conservative institutions, such as the Tory party, refuse to play friend-enemy. They routinely throw people who should be their friends under the bus and end up keeps being the, to the enemy. Keeps being the fucking problem. It keeps being the fucking problem. I... I, I yeah, we can I enjoyed the Candace Owens stuff a little bit, but yeah, go ahead. I enjoyed how frank he was in some of this. Yes. I, I, to be fair, this is quite. I I know it. I know the. I know where he's going with this, but I. It's a, it's a shame that like AA couldn't just like tie Jacob Rees Mogg to a chair and be like, right, here's the framework. <laughs> how much of this do you understand? How much of this are you merely pretending about to be a politician? Because I think if anyone, I think you could convince Rees Mogg of a lot of the stuff, honestly. Well, but uh, you'd have to time to a chair and do it. Yeah, I've not done that, but I, I have. I I, I, and I don't talk about this public very often. I have managed to give a few <laughs> politicians, a few sitting MPs, quite the grilling. A couple of them yeah. in person, um, at kind of informal events of people who were supposed to be to the right of the Tory Party, mm -hmm. and many of them really have no answers. They go into a mm -hmm. deep mm -hmm. mode of fear. When you ask them, like, what do you really know? What are you pretending to know? There's no cameras here. I'm not writing anything down. Like, person to person, what do you know? And they will just not tell you. Even in a yeah. private setting, even under Chatham House rules, they will yeah. just not tell you. Um, because they can't. It's yeah, just... they can't. Probably because they don't fucking know anything. I, I, I do actually Is think that... Is it because that... they're secretive or because they know fuck all? Yeah, what's your opinion on that, Scrum, from your perspective and experience? Um, partially, I okay, one person I did actually have quite a decent talk to was Anne Widdicombe, and I got the impression that she just didn't know. She was a junior minister at one point, you know, she was a junior cabinet minister, but really, you don't really see it. You can be a sitting MP for a decade and not understand how British yeah. politics really works. You will see mm -hmm. very narrow sections of it, you'll see votes, you'll maybe be on little committees and things, but what you see is process. You don't see yes. power, you see process. Yes, yes. And what the impression I got from Anne Widdicombe is she was a nice lady, quite a smart lady, but even she admitted she felt like she knew very little 
about how Britain was really run after being an MP for many years, even after being a public figure and quite a popular MP in many ways. She mm. really didn't know how the sausage got made, um, which I found I intriguing. I think it's incredibly <laughs> common, though, probably. Yes. I think, yeah. Uh, I, I think that uh, with, with Mog, I think, because he said uh, quite a few things that I, I agree with uh, in the past, but yeah, I think that he's... Yeah, if you maybe, like, forced him, you, you could tr probably try and get him to, to come to some sense well, of the truth. Mog, Mog's supposed to be based in quotes, because he was at the traditional yes. Britain group meeting in 2013. Yes. Yes, uh, in quotes, he's, right. Yeah. yeah, he's dabbled in this side of politics, but he would never have what I would consider a truly heterodox opinion. He would never no, say... A... Yeah. Well, no, because he's, he's inherently part of the system. I mean, he, he is, yeah. as, as in, in terms of, like, a, as part of the system as it comes. He, he is part of the aristocracy, which Spoon and I are in favor of, but, like, <laughs> um, in this case, it's... Uh, well, it means he can't there be is, paradox. Yeah. What, I, what I've also learned is there's establishment aristocracy and there's distant aristocracy. Mm -hmm. um, I had hoped the, that, that Mog would have maybe been... Uh, he he acts like himself. he's dissident aristocracy, but he's actually establishment aristocracy. Yeah, my which is the unfortunate so. but Yes. Yeah. Oh, well. Anyway. Shall we keep going? Uh, there's one Tory MP. I'm not going to kind of name her, but let's just say it's a, a rising Cameronite star. She spent her entire career advocating for gender equality, trans rights, every social justice issue under the sun. Uh, I'm sure the audience of this show understands economics. As far as I can see, this person, this MP I'm talking penny. about, is simply that responding is a, to incentives, rewarded <laughs> yeah. punishment mechanisms. And many people feel that it's the failure of the Conservative Party to wield power for friends and against enemies while in office. Um, which is why a lot of people are saying they deserve zero seats in the upcoming election. I, we, I, I, uh, yeah. I think you make a very interesting point about how... <laughs> zero seats there was, though. He did it. He said zero <laughs> seats. I think, I think he was nervous. because He's just sat there saying, I'm going to say zero seats. I'm going to say zero seats. Say say <laughs> I mean, z saying zero seats on GB News, you know, very funny. Can we get some zero seats in the chats, please? <laughs> That's good chat, zero seats. <laughs> zero Zero seats. <laughs> oh, I saw. I saw uh, the, the I'm, en zero I'm memes. enjoying the zero. Sorry. I saw the the, the Coke uh, zero memes all over fucking Twitter. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> with the, with the, um, yeah. fucking um, Sunak, outstanding. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but he's correct. Yeah, I, I I can't I can't see any any way in which uh, a ends up being wrong about that. You know. Uh. So far, it's correct. Uh, this is not the right uh, path to take on this. The I mean, chat's it, filling it up. Itself. Look at it. Let's go. Zero, Zero seats. seats. <laughs> Zero seats. There you go. <laughs> People well, always want free speech for their side of the argument mm -hmm. and try and shut it up for the other side of no, the argument. No, that's not actually true, Mog. Like, that's not true. That's true if you're no. a leftist. Yeah, and that's kind of the problem, but no, that, that's actually not correct. Um, I happen to think it's a pity that Russia Today got shut down because I think you want to listen to people like that, that Lord Hawhaw broadcasting in the Second World War made Nazi Germany look ridiculous. And if you hear from your opponent, you can often um, lampoon them and you can caricature them very effectively. So I'm very sympathetic to that point. But what do you think about this um, the report, the Khan report? Do you think it's a helpful contribution to the debate? Um, well, I mean, one, one of the issues, and I, I, I hate to say this again, uh, Jacob, is that the, uh, the government over the past two decades, and certainly in the past 14 years, has empowered left-wing activists to behave in the way that the Khan Review outlines with no consequences. I mean, there are certain activist groups, again, I'm sure you know the ones I'm, I'm talking about, who can essentially smear people like me and you um, with you know, cost free, yeah. and there is no True. legal recourse to come back on these people because, frankly, who's going to, you know, who's going to see where my fight? And it's yeah. been made clear that these things are. His face, his face <laughs> when he, he just went. Because me, to be fair, we've talked about this, but him yeah. basically going, "Yeah, I know that hate is name." I yes. Is really funny because it's true, and Jacob Reese Mogg knows it. And yeah. he's, he, that, him saying zero yeah. seats got very little reaction, but him saying MI5 
yeah. look at the body language. Can we can yeah, we wind dude. that yeah, back? Because yeah, yeah, he says MI five. Yeah, right Watch when he this. says MI five. Hang on. Yeah, hang on. Let's go back. Because like, yes, he's very like calm here. Okay. Who's gonna, you know, who's gonna see you MI five? And it's been made clear. Oh, <laughs> immediately. Oh, and oh, it is yeah. the hand. He, he changes yep. position. He shifts yep. in his seat. Yep. Look yeah, at look at that. Yeah, curious, that is huh? that is an amazing piece of body language at the mention of MI5. Yeah. I, I that 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 was the best part for me. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. Connected because we can read the intelligence reports. So I do on a regular basis. You, you know uh, when when George Orwell, who you mentioned wrote 1984. Oh, he looks nervous now, too. Look, about... look, ever since the ever since the MI5 got dropped, now he looks fucking nervous. I didn't notice that. Good call. Stalin's Russia, the Soviet Union. He was actually talking about his own experiences in the British Information Research Department. And he was saying back then... He's genuinely... Look, the whole in 1948, body now. was at risk of becoming... They've so switched round. Like yeah. Andy, and he happened. called it 1984 because his publisher thought 1948 would be too frightening. On that happy note, thank you very much. Whoa, Nima. good call. He completely switched body language on that. Holy shit. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a people watcher. I'm really good at seeing people demonstrate uh, body language weakness. <laughs> thank you. Crazy. Look at like they've switched. They, like, if you go back, to the, go back to the beginning of that video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Look, right, right, look right, at the body right. language between them right. at the beginning. Yeah, uh, yeah. Ali looks, looks nervous. Mog looks yeah. calmer. Yeah, and, and then you go to yeah. the end of the video, and <laughs> it's very different. <laughs> it's, it's switched around. <laughs> oh, that that's fucking fantastic. Is a, but that's what I noticed. I again, yeah. I, 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 I'm a, I'm a little bit of a little bit obsessive watcher of those kind of things um, that's fascinating because i don't I, for those of you who don't know about me i don't read social cues naturally very well so i have to like very oh, intently why? watch and do like mental math yeah, with it because yeah. i'm a i'm a terrible terrible author. i know it surprises you my many many years of making autism my brand mm. um but i wouldn't know what true. that's like it is it's, it's, yes we, it's fine we can all be <laughs> I, I don't know spoon have you got the tism can we tell have you no. been diagnosed we the only your... one here who's not had t doesn't have autism. It's fine then. We can just have tism together. <laughs> Spoon, <laughs> are you even still here? Did he leave? Spoon. Spoon, come back. Spoon. Why don't you be interested in this? The level of gayness is just no. <laughs> no, you're talking about. What are you um, talking about, Spoon? Okay, uh -huh. UK shocked. Not vetting immigrants leads to exploitation. <laughs> you sent me this one as well, Scrum. It's fine. We'll just form some sort of autism support group. Um, <laughs> I don't know. You can be our Tard Wrangler, Spoon. Yeah, there you go. You can be the Tard Wrangler. Does that mean I get to beat you people? <laughs> I mean, if you want to, but you can't leave any marks. That's what the law says. <laughs> um... Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> you got to hit him with an open hand. <laughs> My ancestors used to own slaves, and I miss those days. <laughs> Home office granted 275 care worker sponsorship visas after forged application. A damning report from the former Borders and Immigration Inspector into the handling of care of the care sector by the Home Office said low skill workers were left at risk from exploitation. These just be care workers? Doesn't that mean that they have like some background in in healthcare? Okay, let let me explain to you what's happening because uh -huh. it's even more horrible than the headline makes out. All right. uh, okay. What's happened in Britain is that if you are Nugu from basically anywhere in the world, yeah, you can get a visa, yeah. an emergency visa in Britain to be a quote unquote care worker, which means they're filling the care homes with unskilled, oh, unvetted gee. migrants, and the old people are getting beaten up. Uh, um, so I have and, personal experience with this. Yes. Uh, which I don't know if you knew about. Did you have a Dutch comp? Did I saw this shit like in real, per in real life? No, you never told me that, actually. Oh, okay. So when I had to go to the hospital uh, three years ago, because I like nearly died, or yeah, over three years ago, however long it's been now, um, <coughs> it's Your all the looks. nurses, all, all the nurses, and this is in Guernsey, it's not even the UK proper, right? But it, all the same shit applies to us, either way. All the nurses there are African, all of them. They're big, fat, enormous African women. And uh, I would just watch as they would uh, systematically abuse and beat old Gurns in the hospital and laugh about it. Now, yeah. if that's what I saw in Guernsey, what the fuck do you think it's like 
in the UK proper. It, it's really well. The whole point is that they're just giving out infinite visas because apparently there's a care mm -hmm. crisis because mm -hmm. everybody's getting old, everybody's being fobbed off, and it's just it's this terrible creaking system that doesn't work. And they're trying to fire infinity migrants at it. Yeah, like they're trying to fire at everything. So what's happened here is the Home Office has had a group of 275 uh, certificates, basically given a, a sponsorship for care workers that were forged, yes. and then they were still given visas and. Yeah. And their headline here isn't, uh, you know, immigration system rubber stamps possibly dangerous migrants. Mm -hmm. It's, well, our immigration system is a rubber stamp. It doesn't work. It never vets anybody. And that yeah. puts them at risk of exploitation. <laughs> they, they must have focus grouped that for weeks. Of course they did. For well, weeks they're, they're, to try and find the angle on they're it. They're at risk for exploitation, which, by the way, to be fair, that, that is an issue when it comes to um, importing mass amounts of immigrants uh, when it it comes to children in particular that yes uh in the united states we we import tons and tons of of, of migrants from across the southern border uh, there's a lot of them are kids they get put to work basically as slave labor um in a whole bunch of different ways usually by within their own communities they just they end up abusing themselves but this particular thing that happens in the uk i have personally experienced um and it is sickening yeah they bring in people who have no experience and say well you're a care worker now you can like and what they want you to do what they want them to do is like pick up old people and like lift them and help you know when they're they're too infirm right to be able to walk anymore and stuff like that but they just beat the shit out of them that's what actually ends up happening because people they don't they hate you uh and, and they 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 hate the population the native population of the country they've moved to so of course uh well, they, they, they come in and abuse them there's also I've just the happen. issue that a lot of these people are brought in under semi... There's almost like a bounty on it. It's yeah. very near people smuggling some of it. Yes. There is a little bit of exploitation going on here, yes. But the problem is that you're getting a transplant population from, in some cases, a borderline pre-industrial society uh, that are being brought in yeah. to undertake what is care work for people with very complex needs. Yes. It was with the... Be I, I, I don't want to disimbue these people with agency, even though certain bell curve statistics would do that for certain percentages sure. of them. Um, but I'm not going yes. to do that. Pretty, a pretty high percentage, I would say, just, just yeah, yes. speaking, but sure. The issue is that this was never going to work. It wouldn't no. work if these people were Bulgarians. It wouldn't work if even these people were like low class, say, Spanish and Portuguese. I've seen them in Portland well, not work. The, 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 the only two decent nurses that I had when I was, it, it, the, the decent nurses that I had when I was in the hospital were either UK, Polish, or Spaniards. Um, those are the ones who could at least, who at least didn't abuse me, or, and I didn't see abuse other people. The, the, just saying, the African migrants. They they would laugh. They they they'd all be there at their like little nurse desk, and they'd be laughing while someone's like alarm is going off. I saw that shit happen in front of my fucking face. You know what I mean? Crazy shit. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's no recourse. You can't see the medical. As, as I found out, I think you can't see the medical system in Britain. So yeah, let us say it was a mistake. Aren't you? Uh, you know, uh, support our NHS and let's uh, let's all do a little dance for it. Isn't that great? <laughs> Fantastic. Um, where's 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 the video of fucking Nigel Farage banging the pan? Oh, I know. Checking. Unbelievable. Clap for carers. Clap for care. Yeah. Fucking you. The you clap for me now stuff. Sorry, I'm, yeah, getting, I'm getting yeah. racially aggravated. No, it's infuriating. Uh. No, it's because it's infuriating. Because <laughs> there's no way to not get infuriated by it. There's no way to not get mad. Spoon, <laughs> spoon. I'm, 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 getting, I'm, I'm always getting as racial as you are now. So. <laughs> you have quite a way to go before you reach my level. I've so. got to say. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> the probe by exporters and immigration inspector David Neal claimed. I will always be the most man in the room. <laughs> Seven bills around me. Claimed the Home Office had. Limited understanding of the care sector after it was added to the UK's shortage occupation list in 2022, allowing more people to come to the country to fill jobs. And as a result, it created a system that invited large numbers of low skill workers to this country who were at risk for exploitation. I think you say or risk to, yes, maybe well, be, they themselves exploited, but also to exploit others by calling them care workers and again, them in hospitals. It's them doing the narrative suplex. Yeah. It's th this right. is a perfect example of the fact that they don't control the events. They just they largely control the framing. And this is a framing device. Very, very, very ham handedly trying to reframe yeah. this massive influx of, of unskilled workers yeah. who can't do the job into the workers themselves being the victims because they 
could be at risk of exploitation. It's not that these people paid or, for documents yeah. to be forged for them so they could come into the UK yes. illegally, which is what's happening here. Yes. These people are not victims. They are almost never victims unless someone is actually like fully sex trafficked. It's these people are trying to get here because they want benefits. Most exactly. of these so-called care workers, there's still a care crisis in quotes because most of these people come yeah. here, say that they have mental health issues from the journey here and then yeah. say they can't work the job they were given a visa exactly. for. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. They they work for a month or something. If if that, then they leave. Uh, Mr. Neal was fired by the Home Office last month after he leaked details of an airport report to a newspaper with the department saying he had lost the confidence of the Home Secretary James Cleverly. But the ex inspector had repeatedly complained the Home Office was too slow to publish his critical reports. No shit. Who's surprised? Um, in Mr. Neal's report to Social Care and Immigration, he criticized the department's underestimation and demand for the care worker visa. Well, the Home Office had predicted between 6,000 and 40,000. How the fuck? What a fucking estimate. Would come through this year, this route each year. 146,000 were granted between February 2022 and October of 2023. How the fuck? Like, that, that's a huge number for the United States. But imagine that in fucking Britain. Like, how Just, that's insane. The report criticized the inappropriateness of the regime and uh, in place and said the mismatch between its meager... Com uh, Complement and of compliance officers and ever expanding register of licensed sponsors, with one officer for every 1,600 employers, was totally inadequate. In the example of an employer only known as Company B, an application had been submitted using forged documents and bank statements in the name of a real care provider. But despite online checks showing the addresses they provide showed no trace of links to care home to a care home, 275 certificates of sponsorship had been secured with 181 assigned to workers, none of whom had arrived to undertake genuine roles. It's all fucking bullshit. It's reliant on handouts. It's all bullshit. Up to 1,500 people could have arrived in this country, and it's way more than that, and been encouraged by a risk of hardship or destitution to work outside of the conditions of their visa, said Mr. Neal. Well, no, they shouldn't have been here at all. That's ridiculous. Oh, no, that's a, that's a complete lie. That's cover. The work yeah. outside people are doing illegal second jobs they're working in the gray yep. market economy right. tax-free and that's what they do they come over they they don't undertake the care work they disappear into britain most yep. of the time yep. and they yep. go off and work different jobs it's them scamming the visa system it's the visa of system course. scamming being portrayed as people trafficking in quotes because as as soon as you get found out as an illegal immigrant in this you will have an ngo lawyer pressed up against you well, who will claim would. that you were human trafficked they would so, like, I, I'm not in trouble. Like, like, Bill and I have been trying to, like, figure this shit out for years. I'm trying to get... Cause first of all, I can never become a citizen of Guernsey ever because they don't allow that. Now, maybe if I was brown, maybe. But, like, I can't. Um, we've been trying to figure this shit out for years. And we've talked to, to the to Citizens Affairs and stuff, and it's never been fucking clear exactly what we're supposed to do. But, like, I can't get a GY number, so I can't get a bank account here. If I was brown and claimed to be a refugee, I could. I, I would have I would have had one before moving, you know? <clears throat> that's the insane part because I'm a white person I'm not even joking I think that's that, that really is a people can get all mad about that if they want it's a large part no it is a large part of it there is no. if you look at the numbers I, I, I had them on Twitter for a bit I can't find them now but the the basic the numbers of the fact that like it, it was something stupid like 50 people a minute were being approved at one point by uh by UK immigration for, for semi or for permanent visas mm -hmm. or at least uh, permanent and student visas it was the the numbers here to get 1.4 million people a year through are just insane and this is what they need to do the, the, the lot of it is these people will never be vetted you can't have say 10,000 employees of a government office vetting 1.4 million people in a year it just doesn't work of course so not. that's that this is how it ends up and this is how it ends up being reported is as cover as perpetrator as yeah. victim that yeah, all exactly. illegal immigrants are always portrayed as victims exactly no matter what uh, by the way it wasn't me furiously typing guys i'm pretty sure that was scrump but uh so i wasn't the one furiously typing oh no, sorry that was I, I thought it was me <laughs> and it wasn't i was sorry no, you're fine. Uh, care workers paid 10000 to an agent in Nigeria only to find there was no job for her when she arrived in the UK. Yeah, because this is all fucking bullshit. Yeah, because you bought an illegal visa, you idiot. Yeah. This is all such... It's all a bunch of lies. This is ridiculous, though. This whole thing is fucking ridiculous.
But worse the most is the Home Office does not appear to have any process to identify the lessons from this debacle and then bring those lessons into the core thinking in order that they are not rep repeated. No shit! They, don't, they want them to be repeated! That's the whole fucking issue! Oh my god. It's infuriating. Uh, I have some of the other articles you sent us. What sent me? Um... Oh, this will take a second. These archive, sorry, the archive ones. So I'm gonna take a second. But th yeah, this is just ridiculous. Of course not. Of course, they're not gonna change anything. Um, former inspector called for full review of the visa route, sponsorship, licensing, and compliance, as well as the creation of a multi-agency agreement, so that each part knows what they are responsible for. Is this not loading? So, man, are oh, is archive.is down? If in which case, uh oh, two of the articles you sent me might be fucked. Oh God damn it. I, I hope not. You've had this problem before, though, with archive.is. It might be your routing oh. to... Uh... Uh, it might be... Actually... It might be a browser. It might be... Yeah. yeah Brave. So I've had that... Yep, it's Brave. Brave's right, just like a... not good, and I don't use it. I'm sorry, like, Brave's I do... bad. I, I like Brave for some reasons, but not for others. It can't handle... For, um, for some reason, Brave can't handle archive links. I have no idea why. Um... One second. Doesn't want you knowing the truth. No, I just think um, it's still quite new, so. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna here, we go, here. here we go. Okay. Here we go. On live switching. So. Yes. Ministers must stop moaning about migrants. Says Trevor I, Phillips. I, I wonder why you'd say that, Trevor. No. <laughs> Yeah, what a, what a weird thing to say. <laughs> what, what, a, what a strange thing to say. Um, <laughs> the bit, the bit, a lot of this is just waffling about yeah. the fact that Do you want to do this we, so I can yeah. take a break? On my voice for a second? Me? <laughs> yeah, sure. I don't know where Spoon is. I don't know where he went. <laughs> I, of course, of course I can. Of course okay. I can do this. Yeah, you must be hoarse. Spoon, Spoon, Spoon do you want to do it? Do you want to read this? You haven't yeah, read anything in a minute. My voice is shot. Spoon, I know. Oh, Spoon. I don't know. I want to read it. Spoon, do you want to read it? All right. Oh, okay. All right. Scrumpy, read it. I didn't oh, okay. get to Scrumpy. read anything. Scrumpy, no. read it then. <laughs> right, Spoon was also starting to grumble about his voice being shot. So if he wants to read yeah. something, we can read the next one. Spoon. But I finally got to read something. All right, go ahead. <clears throat> Ministers must stop moaning about migrants by Trevor nice. Phillips. As Britain's fertility rate falls, the government is planning to, uh, a rise in immigration to help save the embattled economy. You can tell where the frame is going here. Yeah. In my days as a TV executive, oh dear, yes, he's also, it not only <laughs> is a uh, reasonable black voice, he's also not someone from, you know, with the expertise in this, he was, a, he was on TV. I learned to, uh, uh, to my cast that good intentions, mm. oh sorry, what was that, Spoon? I said, and therefore oh. he's somehow important. I, um. Yes, basically. I need to turn you up, you're quiet for me again, unless you're just being uh, a mumbly Spoon. He's being no, a mumbly Spoon now. tonight. <laughs> oh, both of you. <laughs> Do not. Oh, sorry. Good intentions not always relate, translate into virtuous action. Survey yes, evidence suggested that, given the opportunity, millions of viewers would prefer to watch a highbrow documentary over a rerun of Murder She Wrote or Starskin Hutch. This is getting very Britcore. Yet detailed audience yes. research revealed that if everybody who claimed to have watched particular episodes of Weekend World. On my own, the London program, I have no idea what the fuck those are, no. had actually tuned in, we'd have outrated blind date. Again, Britcore. <laughs> had we all matched our words by pressing the right button, he's talking about revealed preference and stated preference here, yeah, basically yeah, saying, you think you want less immigration, but, actually, but you don't. Um, so it's no not that we humans are natural um, hypocrites. An essential part of our humanity is what psychologists call cognitive dissonance, the ability comfortably to hold two conflicting views at the same time. Maybe for you, midwit. Uh, <laughs> um, this is a lot of this is just Dream. waffling and waffling yes, and waffling. Value is. action, value gap, say so, mm -hmm. do so, blah 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 blah. Mm -hmm. Um we'll get to it here though, when we talk about the uh most of us have at least one personal say do gap in our lives. We may genuinely want to visit our elderly relatives regularly, but we all too often uh, other priorities intrude. Again, he's just still waffling. So I thought this well, was the good Remember bit. how they wouldn't let you do that for three years? Yes. Curious. He talks. He talks about zero hour contracts. A lot of this just isn't very real. Can we skip down yeah. to? Where do you um, want to start? Where yeah, the rhetorical centerpiece is where it actually starts. 
the article basically. where he's not just okay, waffling okay. at you going well everyone's a hypocrite everyone yeah, says yeah, they want something and wants another and you yeah, yeah. you can see you can see he's teeing it up for immigration purposes right. though yes, anyway. yes. yeah he's, uh, gonna, the, he's gonna set it up yeah yeah the rhetorical centerpiece of the tories election campaign is clearly going to be a pledge to reduce immigration and do away with wokery the small boats pledge is in itself small beer a tiny percentage of overall migration and a weak substitute for a full-bodied zero immigration Farageism. um it's just again how, how, how do you uh, farageism as in farageism as yeah, in no, farage yeah, yeah, yeah yes i know I'm, I'm wondering how you pronounce that so you said yeah. farageism i think didn't you oh sorry i i miss i miss said that i was <laughs> I, I was gonna say farage it's supposed to be farage my Much i'm just like i'm a little bit dyslexic okay don't worry about it. But, i was, well, but I was cons- confused yeah, yeah, but the Conservatives may be painting themselves into an even trickier corner than Labour's. They insist they will reduce net migration, but the Chancellor's policies depend on maintaining a rolling target higher than at any time in our history. Well, you keep the say do the gap. Um, oh, he's ta- the rolling target he's talking about is basically our immigration quotas based on our essential yes. industry stuff. In well, that's what I mean, but they, they keep moving the target as well, though. Well, the, the, the whole point. Po- yeah, it's what it is. It's it's, it's you know it's shooting ducks. Like you 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 have to keep. It's a moving target. It's impossible. The the problem is that what he's actually doing here is telling the truth, but in an opposite way. Of course, he's saying well, they, they always do this. Uh, well, yeah, the always, small boats. Often. He's right. The small boats pledge is small beer. It is a yeah. tiny percentage of overall migration. But anyway, they insist they will reduce net migration, but the chances policies depend on maintaining again a rolling target higher than it history the say do gap is starting to look like an uh, intergalactic black hole again he's right about the fact that they say they want to reduce immigration but actually but just have increased it That's, in his yeah. budget speech yep. jeremy hunt was explicit that he relied on the office for budget responsibilities forecast that annual net migration will exceed three hundred and fifty thousand uh, most years which is again <gasps> oh. yeah this is about twice the typical figure during the blair years Yes. In 2022, net migration was more than 745,000. Uh, three times the it's number. Unbelievable. That, uh, for a country when the as conservatives. As the United Kingdom. That's well, fucking insane. Let me also explain to you how it's worse. Do you know how they do net migration? Yeah. Huh. They just minus the number of people who have quote unquote left. Right. Um, okay. what, and when they say left, they mean no longer have a visa. If, if somebody. Oh, they might still dis- be here then. Oh. Yes. If somebody disappears mm-hmm. in a mm-hmm. way that they can't verify, they are basically have assumed to have gone home. God, there's so much shit like that I've run across <laughs> in all my years of doing this. It's always like this. It's it's that weasel word shit. Yeah, yeah it is. Well, net mig- the thing is, net migration's 45,000, but actual permanent visas, including student visas, are 1.4 million. So what wow. they're saying is that 700, they're saying 745,000 people left the UK in 20, so like 700,000 or 650,000 people left the UK in 2022 and 2023, which I don't fucking believe. No, I don't buy that at all. <laughs> Three times higher than the, the, the numbers were in, the, in 2010. Uh, the OBR forecast is credible. In the medium term, we are facing a trend which even an entire nation with the uh, fiduci- fiduciary... <laughs> fiduciary. Yeah, excuse me. Oh. F- what is that word? Fecundity. Oh, fecundity. Okay, fecundity. Sorry, my, my dyslexia is kicking in. The All fecundity right. of a Boris Johnson would not be able to reverse anytime soon. Um, we are not having enough babies. <laughs> Maybe this we should is, fix that the, the term fecundity... I don't yeah. like the word fecundity anywhere near Boris Johnson, by the way. <laughs> no, neither do I. Um, I I was wondering that because I thought, am I reading that? It's like my brain was just like, I don't want to think about uh, fecundity. <laughs> he can be his Boris Johnson. Yeah, I don't want to think about the uh, you know the, the 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 virile fertility of Boris Johnson. I don't want to think about that. <laughs> Maybe that's why. I was like, surely not. <laughs> your, I, your brain just just my brain rejected it. it yeah. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, fecundity basically means the ability to have children. It basically means virility. Yeah. Um, since 2010, Britain's fertility rate has been falling below the replacement rate of 2.1 children per woman. It is now 1.49 and will dip below 1.4 mid-century. 
the gap will be filled by migration. Again, if you look over this, though, he's using very neutral terms. He talks yes. about the Office of Budget Responsibility, which, yep. by the way, why is a budgetary watchdog office saying that we need 350,000 migrants a year? Well, let me ask you the fucking question is why, why is the why is the fecundity rate dropping? Is it because that outside of fucking welfare queens, the vast majority of, of Brits don't feel that they're able to be able to support a family? But that's not a question that is ever on the minds of the immigrants, because they know that they'll be given everything they fucking need. Yes. Um, this is a serious fucking uh, uh, division between two groups. The, the native population that feels that they're not able to, or that they would not be able to have children. And the foreign population that doesn't give a shit. Again, he, he states as a fact that the gap will be filled by immigration. Uh -huh. Yet, yeah. given the source of future immigration, Tory saber rattling over workplace diversity programs to mark a dividing line with Labour is storing up more trouble. <laughs> there is no doubt such foolishness has been done in the name of diversity and inclusion. But most business leaders have understood for years that such programs are not a luxury for two basic reasons. One is that in global markets, failure to understand other cultures can make or break. Uh, uh, for your products. This is not a big concern for most UK businesses who don't do business internationally, by the way. Early this century, the car maker Honda was forced to rebrand one of its successful models, the Honda Fita. It had not realized, blah, blah, Scandinavian Fita means pussy, yeah. He's basically just talking about, ooh, cultural <laughs> sensitivity. Um, but that's kind of a weak one. Here's, yeah, here's the big weak. paragraph, though. Here's the big paragraph here is where he says, I apart life, basically. Since Brexit, there is another reason to be cautious about doing away with diversity programs. The OBR reckons that while EU migrants have drained away, migration from West Africa, India and other non-EU sources has risen to more than 750,000 annually. That's unbelievable. Yes. But he, he's very happy about that. 700, yes. nearly a million people Workforces, annually. yep, are inevitably going to be blacker, browner, and more Muslim. Again, look at that language. Immigration yep. is happening. Workforces are going to be this. Uh, and you as have the to play... get used to it. Yes. That, you're gonna be, as the pl that, that Britain will be browner, blacker, and more Muslim. Yes. Uh, it's more weird, like, humiliation yeah. propaganda. What was that, Spoon? No, it's just basically it's going to be the third world. And shit. Yeah, that's what they're trying to do. Yeah. As they playwright Max Fisher, uh, Max Fish, sorry, Frisch, uh, God, I can't read today, remarks about immigration, we asked for workers and people came. That's about the, again, he's invoking the wind rush there. For yeah, those but of that's don't not know. what was happening. No, it's a lie. <laughs> it, Many, it's all a lie. Many businesses are working intelligently and professionally to integrate these new Britons. It's, it's new Britain, guys. We found it. <laughs> Do you like old Britain? Well, you can't have old Britain because oh, that's you racist. That. You're getting new Britain. <laughs> I did see your meme about that. More importantly, the government should stop grumbling about the number of foreigners landing on our shores when ministers themselves are laying out the welcome mat, which again is true. And yes, basically what they're saying is that the neutral institutions, yep. in quotes, of Britain have gone out and said, we need infinity migrants or else the economy we've created that's dependent on infinity migrants might not yeah. work as well without infinity migrants anymore. Weird. <sighs> there was also, this is the only the archive one that you sent me, which is that, the, I, look, I reread this, like, just the headline confused the shit out of me. Cheap food is more important than protecting failing farmers. Close-minded attitudes to trade hurt British consumers and reduces food security. What? I, it's I, I, I maybe this is just contrarianism. Maybe it's rage bait. Maybe they're trying to what do a both. It's basically them trying to diffuse some of the sympathy for the farmers. Maybe well, I suppose so. Cheap food is more important than protecting failing farmers. Well, why are the farmers failing, Matthew Lesh? Uh, look at him. Look at it, look at it, again, none of these yeah, people have anything approaching good physiognomy. Look at him. Like, you wouldn't trust that man to make you a sandwich, would you? He does kind of look like Carl Rittenhouse a little bit. Knife. Tell me I'm wrong. Where are the glasses? He just looks like a dork. Like, <laughs> why are we ruled by such potent fucking... Scrum, really? You want to... Dorks. Should, we, should, should either of us judge anyone for looking like a dork? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I don't like no, that much of a dork, that. okay? <laughs> uh, cheap food is more important than protecting failing farmers. Well, 
the farmers wouldn't be feeling if you hadn't in instilled a bunch of ridiculous rules upon them. You know? And then cheap food, so what, you're going to import garbage shit full of, of seed oils and all kinds of other crap from the rest of the world. And you're also going to charge farmers up the ass so that they so that they fail. Cheap food is more important than failing than helping failing farmers. Uh, Spoon, you want to take this one? Uh, why? I don't know. Do you want to? You want to just look at this? Spoon. Fucking hell, this is actually not long. It's not that long. All right. Uh, uh, musical horns, bells, and sirens screech throughout Westminster. A, a lot um, of this is, again. A lot of this is just waffle. Yeah. Um, okay. So how much of this is interesting, actually? The problem is, I'm trying to pick out the... Uh... But it's the same thing, where they're just saying that, like... As far as I understand yeah. this, because I did scr uh, you know, screen through this before we started. That, But don't you understand that the food... Okay, it might... It's not going to be as cheap, right? If you have local food, rather than... In, although you do save... But these are the same people who are, like, all environmental uh, activists. So you don't want things to be imported from China, do you? But apparently you do. Wouldn't why, you rather why have? Why are, are you speaking as if local... their goals make any sense? No, of course they don't. It's all again. It's all fucking nonsense. The, 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 I, do you want to even read this, or is it just so confusing in and of itself via its headline that it's not even worth investigating further? I don't know. Uh, the the problem is that uh, what they're doing here, and I can give you a good roundup because sure. I'd have to I'd have to explain because um, yeah. they talk about farming subsidies. What happened is that farming, because of the way the government operates, has be has become made economically unviable in Britain. Yes, impossible. The energy in Britain. Yes, the energy costs are too high. Mm -hmm. The labor costs are too high. Oh, the, the taxes land costs and all of, all the shit you have to pay. Yes. All of the, the payments towards the government you have to make just to to work the land. All of the you'd have a lawyer to do fucking anything. So food production in Britain is entirely dependent on subsidies, mm -hmm. and what they've decided to do for a lot of the quote unquote net zero stuff is make the subsidies dependent on them, create yes. basically destroying their farms. Mm -hmm. And what he's going, what he's doing here is saying that oh well, these farmers are just being petty because they won't take the subsidy payments because they say that'll destroy their farm, but they well, should just will. take the subsidy payments anyway because we've all got to do our bit. And by the way, cheap food is good, and we should just import infinite food from the third world that's been relabeled because is there's the Which system as sorry. Th those seem antithetical to me. Yeah, they are, <laughs> but it, again, that doesn't. May maybe this person has like uh, a relationship financially with like m with. It's not um, autism. If it's autism, he'd be able to be intelligent about it. It's retardation. I think it might be Monsanto money, or the like, because mm -hmm. um, you'll you'll find a lot of these people tend to have. Um, he's from the oh god, he's from the Institute of Economic. All oh, right, that explains it. He's from the he's from the IEA, which is basically a giant NGO which creates massive cover for like peak managerialism. He oh, is a course. regime okay. stooge from oh, effect go. effectively the economic equivalent of the Council on Foreign Relations. There you <laughs> go. That makes sense then. Cuz this is ridiculous. Like again, if you just stop putting such incredibly harsh rules upon british farmers they'd be able to do just fine people could be able you know people would be able to 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 produce produce and sell it locally as has always been the case this it's all of these government um taxes and and um regulations that are making it impossible for for british farmers to be able to to be farmers in normative way. Wait, 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 wait. I've got a. What? I, what? I've. It might be slightly unrelated, but uh, mm -hmm. do you wanna do you wanna read this tweet from Mr. Matthew Leash here? Yeah, sure. Let's see what does he have to say. This guy seems like a tool. So what do you have to say here? <laughs> uh. Okay. Bye. Okay. As a young child, I'd rather sit in the bath listening listening to my German Jewish grandfather. Tell me stories from his life. Or I would sit in the bath. He came from an upstanding, successful family, as German as German could go. His father fought in World War I and received an Iron Cross. Ah. Oh, wait, oh, wait, hang on. I have to... Shit. Oh, no. No, no, not that. No, I have to... What? 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 I have to, I, I have to keep changing tabs because it's weird. Okay, so here... Okay. <clears throat> there we Maybe go. Should... All right. Okay, he just, told... Just 
completely unrelated um <laughs> completely unrelated tweet that yeah just he told of crystal not the night of broken glass in which jewry jewish pop excuse me jewish property was destroyed of nazis forcing them to sell their businesses to non-jew i heard of jews being uh, blamed for every social societal ill about how people uh, stayed silent or joined the anti-Semitism of the Nazis. He told of his mother uh, simply not believing it. No, oh, can I just stop? It's no reason for me to keep it. It's, it's, going. it's it? so, it's just like, yeah, people were forced off their land by the government. And also, that's why you should tell the farmers to go away. <laughs> also, I, I, I'm a proper Anglo, by the way, is what he appears to be doing. Um, okay, wait, that's not the right thing. Oy vey. Anyway, enough Oy item vey. bouncing. Uh, All right. Uh, I, ju I just thought usually, I'd check. Usually when we get that, I do I do put on the Kirby uh, item bounce. Ba -ba 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 -ba. California. No, because the economy is doing so well. California fast food chains to fire workers as $20 minimum wage kicks in. Wowee. Who could have predicted this? Uh, Who could have predicted this? Ever. Yeah. So let's just uh, look. You don't need it. Pizza Hut was my career for a decade, says Ojeda. Uh, now they've been fired because they can't $20 an hour. Yeah, they can't do that. It, it, not that quickly. So now the restaurants are shutting down. People are going to be able to get their, their pizzas or their um, hamburgers. And also what it means is that people who've worked at these places for, for decades or for a decade can now no longer work there because, well, we got to give them more money. Isn't that fucking cute? Oh, no, I can't do this again here because uh, archive okay, um, does, it doesn't work. I'll just say that also Dollar Tree has been forced to raise Dollar Tree, which is, if you don't, guys don't know, um, I'm sure most of my American audience obviously knows this, Dollar Tree, and if you can't guess, the whole point of Dollar Tree, because I'd have to, like, again, go switch back to another browser because it does not work on... We know what the dollar store reason. is. We um, do. It's we, now we, the average price has now been raised to $7. Yes. Welcome so, to Dollar Tree. Yeah, welcome the, to Dollar uh, Tree. It's actually seven dollars for the most. Welcome to seven Dollar Tree. Yeah, uh, Angry Joe will be lit. Yeah. So <laughs> you also sent me this one, Scrum. Payout for Uber Eats driver over face scan bias case. So here. We oh have my our, God! Yeah. Here we have our subject. Here he is. Black Uber Eats driver has received a payout after racially discriminatory facial recognition checks prevented him from accessing the app to secure work when. Pa Adrisa Manjang began working for Uber Eats in 2019. Yeah, I'm afraid you're saying his name wrong. It's Pa Adrisa Manjang. Oh, um, excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, uh, but the Microsoft-powered uh, Uber Eats app <laughs> increased his verification trap checks, and in 2021, it said, after careful consideration, his account will be removed due to continued mismatches. <laughs> <laughs> in other words, the, the AI can't detect this I mean, guy's face. You... You never hear of AIs that have been developed by a team that's all black and can't see white people, do you? No. I mean, why doesn't that happen? Weird. Why is the technology only discriminatory one way because of quote-unquote the people who made it? Why is that? Weird. It's very strange, isn't it? Shall we get into a little bit of the Crisis Kang shit? Because this has been a thing. Uh, well, first of all, you well, said to I'm, start I'm with afraid this. I might actually have to go because it's past 11 o'clock. Okay. Um, I, 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 I do have to be a somewhat responsible adult on a weeknight. I know, you had to go to work in the morning. I have, to go to, work at, I have to go to work in the morning. <laughs> oh, oh, no. It, anyway, um, what I'll say is, uh, before I go, would you, would you at least play the uh, Nigel Farage's affirmation for I us? I will, yes. Good evening. Well, historically, Listen. we have always been a great friend of Israel. Good. <laughs> no, uh, one more time. Go on, one more time. All right. Well, all right well, once more. Right. 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 Shall we? Because we here. We're here on Broken Crown. Like we with Nigel Farage. We, Good we, evening. Well, historically, we have always been a great friend of Israel. Good. <laughs> oh dear. Yes, yes, Goblino, I do uh I do turn into a werewolf too. Yeah. I actually turn I actually poof back into a cheems. Um yeah. I, I am actually just a, a, a frog. Um <laughs> am low. Uh, but th again, thank you for having me on. Uh, I'm sorry to, to depart for the end of the stream, but I am all out I of scrump gas. <laughs> You're all fine. Thanks for hanging out, man.
And thanks, thanks, chat. Chat's been nice. I've been, I've been seeing some good stuff in chat. Uh, give us, give us, give us some of your, give us some of your appreciation for the days of Israel <laughs> that will keep this stream safe and monetized. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right, thanks for, thanks for dropping by. Not if I have anything to say about it. Yeah. <laughs> Spoon, are you ready to 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 assume the position of actual co-host? Considering uh, that Scrump and I did it for three hours. <laughs> no. All right. Well, we're, we won't go on too long then since you appear to be a little tired. All right. I've been up since it, I... five. Okay. Let's, can we talk about James and Z for a little bit though? But, oh, okay. That up, right? All right. So I, I've been friends with uh, Dr. Lindsay for a long time. Uh, I don't know what the fuck is going on with him. He appears to be having a meltdown. I don't understand this. It's actually perfect timing because because Crump and I talked about this on Ooze Lose podcast the other day, so um, it's a good thing like this all works out. He's being homosexual. He says Christ is king, as it is declared. It's a sophisticated and manipulative dialectical trap, like Black Lives Matter, and Christians are being baited into it by a few public figures and a band of antisocial troublemakers, likely led by a Fed. That's just bullshit. What? That is legit. It, this makes no sense. Absolute fucking dude. He just took the Juden money, I, I, like straight up. Look like, over he, here on the right. Later like, on, I, has to go with Catholics were saying the Catholics yeah, it's don't weird. like the Jews. And I'm like, um, curiosity. How do you feel about the other direction? How do you think the uh, the hats of the small variety feel about the Catholics? Oh, well, this yeah, is, we're going to get into that. Is that now this. they've said that saying Christ is King is anti-Semitic? Oh, fuck off. I know, I know. Uh, he says, Christians are expected to agree with the sentiment because it is, in a way, a cornerstone belief of their religion. Yeah. Believing that Christ is king is a cornerstone of our religion where we believe that Christ is king. Okay, they are often expected to participate in the refrain as well, just like Black Lives Matter. No, 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 no. It's something undeniable for Christians, but also manipulative. Us saying that Christ is king is not telling anyone anything else. Do they have to do it? We're saying, we, when, when, I, when we say as Christians that Christ is king, we are saying that Christ is king. We're not telling you that you have to do it, but we believe that Christ is king. How is this a... I don't understand. This whole thing is confusing the fuck out of me, by the way. As to why... And by the way, it's Holy Week. For those of you not aware of, of, of Christian theology, this is Holy Week between Palm Sunday and Easter Sunday, right? This is the holiest week in all of... in the Christian calendar. So why are you doing this, Dr. Lindsay? I don't understand. And, and the only time I've ever had, like, a, a, a weird interaction with Dr. Lindsay was I said something about Christianity to him, and he said back to me no one cares what you think and i was like i was shocked at how rude he was towards me and he's allowed to be rude like it's fine but he and i've always had very very polite conversations so i was he seems to have a big chip on his shoulder about christianity um he says christ is king has more than one meaning um maybe but not to me christ is king has one meaning to me it's that uh christ is king christ is lord christ is my god uh he is the king of this world that's kind of simple. I, I, I don't know. When you start to, to, to interpret other beliefs or meanings into it, I think it's because you've, you, you don't understand that like Christianity isn't some new kind of a culture war thing like Black Lives Matter. Christianity is 2,000 years old. So when we say Christ is king, we're not engaging in some kind of a, what would you call it, a dog whistle, right? We're just saying it. We're saying Christ is king because Christ is king. Uh, it, it is not even it's not an aphorism. It's just that is what we believe that Christ is Lord. You don't have to agree with me, by the way, chat. Anyone in the chat, you don't have to agree. Um, but that's what that means. It doesn't have any secondary meaning. It's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. Christ is King. There's there's no secondary meaning behind that. When you say Black Lives Matter, you are not just saying that like Black Lives Matter. You are saying about like. A whole bunch, like 50 other political slogans that are involved with that in political meaning. Um, that's not the case with Crisis King. Pretty clear what Crisis King is. He goes on. 
it's bad faith thinking it's clever. It, we're not trying to be clever about it. We're being very, it says it in fact is intentionally hostile towards Jews. The people weaponizing this article of faith know that. How is it hostile towards Jews by saying that Christ is king? Spoon, do you understand this at all? Spoon. Jesus. If Spoon's already fallen asleep, guys, I'm going to probably head out soon as well, because this is... God, I want to do this alone. I thought Spoon would be interested in covering this, because he made a video about it. Apparently he's gone to sleep! There are many verses Christians should pay attention to here that insist uh, things about wolves and sheep's clothing, false teachers, talking to the Lord, taking the Lord's name in vain, excuse me, and professing to be wise or clever while being fools, but the social pressure from brothers is high. Likely, a likely response to me point this out again, like the last time, will be to be swarmed by with attacks that I hate Christians. Well, James, you're telling people that they don't actually believe in the things that they're claiming to believe in. Why would you not expect to be attacked by them? Together with puerile demands that I bend the knee and confess that Christ is king, I'm not demanding that of you, James. I never have. Dr. Lindsay, I've never demanded that of you, ever. All I've ever said to you, Dr. Lindsay, who I do consider to be friendly with, is that you understand where Christians are coming from. This is ridiculous. There will also be a lot of anti-Semitism in the mix because the operators are operators and their useful idiots can't control themselves, know them by their fruits. Just know it's a deliberate manipulation, at least of some pe some of the people doing it know they are playing it. Well, Dr. Lindsay, I, I don't know that personally. When I say Christ is king, I am not saying it as some kind of weird um, playbook, at least. All right, guys, I'm going to say this because it appears that Spoon has also dipped out and Scrump has also dipped out. I'm going to read the super chats and then I'm going to dip out because I am also tired. Because, um, I mean, we keep going, but but I, I have more stuff. But but if Spoon's also dipped, uh, I'm not running the show by myself. <laughs> and we have a lot of super chats to get through. So let me get to the super chats. He's right here, we'll, you know. Um, Spoon, are you willing to go through this? Hell no. You're, you're too tired. I'm sleepy as hell. Like better keep okay, my eyes open. Spoon's right. Spoon's sleepy. I'm sleepy to be honest. All right, we're not gonna get to the Candace Owens stuff. I'll, I'll save it for next week, guys. Um, Candace Owens got into a, a big kerfuffle with she was fired from Daily Wire, and then there was like they pretended they didn't fire her, but they did fire her. That was kind of the TLDR. It was totally we, not because of the state of Israel, <laughs> not at all. No, not which was in which was no. yes related to this exact same issue. But let's go through. Spoon, these super chats with me, shall you? So we can get through okay. these. All right. So, hi, I'm uh, Horwitz, Funberg and Horwitz for five says, can you imagine that ship fucking going through the canal? No, I could not. Going back to that, that ship in Baltimore. Lance for 10 says, as someone who holds no opinion on Candace Owens, either way, I do love how she set up a no-lose scenario for herself and the, and the Daily Wire stupid, stupidly decided to choose the worst of no-win options for themselves. Exactly, Lance. It's crazy. We didn't have time to go over that in, in specificity, but I'm sure, mm. obviously, a lot of you are aware of it. Um, so on the Lynch, for 50 ERS, says, Were the sailors paid in Amazon and Apple gift cards, or is that an awful stereotype? Uh, yes, it's a stereotype, but probably correct. Um, also glad to hear Spoon on the show. Last post was worrying. Yeah, Spoon got a little bit upset, but he's okay now. Oh, um, no, he's not. Uh, <laughs> right. He's getting I'm... better, aren't you? No, I'm not. All right. Well, I love you, Spoon. You're going to be okay. We'll, we'll work your computer out. Okay, we'll get it fixed. Make sure it works. <sighs> It'll be all right, Spoon. It'll be okay. People have no and idea I, the amount of I know it's frustrating. Fucking hell you know, I have gone to get through to that machine. Like, he really has, For guys. the last 50 fucking cunting days, every time I mention this thing, something has gone wrong. Like, oh, no. you cannot believe the amount of agonizing frustration. When the thing died, I just sat there. I didn't know whether to scream or yell or cry or just, like, stab or kill someone. Just out of rage. Just, it was so unbelievably frustrating. And to this day, if I just stare at my machine, like, I just have this urge to just break it. Like, just this unbelievable oh, blood-rushing no. urge of just staring at it. Like, I must break everything in front of me because I don't know what else to do. Like, you cannot mm. fucking believe how absolutely goddamn angry I was that day. Like, I'm sitting there like, I need to, I need to just, like, destroy. Something must need to break in front of me now. 
or else it's I'm going gonna to be okay. fucking lose my mind. I know. I understand. I understand. So Spoon's in a very horrific mood, understandably. But And I will be for the next couple of fucking weeks, very likely. I know. I know. It'll be all right. So let's it's go ahead and wrap this up. Almost 60 fucking days. I know it has been. Fun. I know. Uh, so a team manager been a member for 16 months says, The gun says, Such a brave statement, such a brave stance you took. Give her a slap on the ass. Well, thank you, Senate team Matt. Is that um, supposed to be Ralph? I got that reference. Yes. <laughs> oh, there um, you go. <laughs> such a brave stance you took, Aiden. Your star lights the way. <laughs> a slosher for 20 Canadians says, In the 90s, my uncle Bob, rest in peace, or rest in peace for your uncle, was an aircraft mechanic. He had two women pilots on the same flight. He radioed in, quote, when did they start allowing stewardesses in the cockpit? They went ape trying to find out, find out who said it. That's very based. Very based. Thank you, Slosher. Hasselhopper for 10 says, we stand on the shoulders of giants while so many root for their collapse. They don't understand how far we can fall. I think they don't, Hasso. Some of them do. Uh, complex systems need maintenance, but we're busy counting genders and measuring melanin. Exactly. Galactic Emperor Schlurm for two says she got that Austrian painter comb over. Oh yeah, that bitch we were looking at earlier. Yes, Asshole Buffer <laughs> Five says did. questioning fact checkers, fact checkers or researchers has a chilling effect, but the government asking social media to censor is not coercion. Isn't that curious? Wasn't it? Mike Mysterio for five says, did you end up covering the Nickelodeon stuff? I know you ran out of energy last stream, as we are again here now. Um, I was going to cover it a little bit tonight. I did watch the entire documentary series. Um, on uh, the stuff that happened at Nickelodeon, and we'll cover it at some point. But yeah, unfortunately, we keep fucking running out of steam. Uh, Hassabo for five says maybe Gus, there is a prop. That maybe Gus is there to prop up the idea that we can only trust the experts because this random cross country skier has no idea what he's talking about. Maybe that might make sense to me. And then Mr. Twisted Frenzy for five euros says, "Hey Scrump, is is MI five answerable to the monarchy, or do they operate outside the domain of influence?" What do you think? Say that again. Holy shit. Uh, that is so MI5 is is MI5 answerable to the monarchy or do they operate outside of their domain of influence? Now I would say that the MI5 is of course yeah, yeah, first they, they, foremost they, and entirely from, from a technical perspective, uh, yeah, they should be answerable to the to the king. To the monarchy, yes. Yeah. All right. I think we've got it taken care of. Uh, much we're going to do tonight. Well, one more, one more. First law from five for five Canadians says, "Can you tell me the name of the study that showed that some people would rather have less money as long as others had even less than them?" Um, it is in my video on dark morality, Slosher. I I'm not going to look it up right now, but if you go to my video on dark morality, we'll be able to find it in there. Uh, that's that's the video. Dark morality on my channel. Oh fuck, Lance for five says, "I'm not a Muslim, but there's one verse of the Quran I really like. Uh, something about rocks and trees. Something about someone." Uh, behind them i feel like you're making a meme that i'm I, i'm almost familiar with but i'm not anyway guys i am sleepy spoon is clearly sleepy uh oh, we yeah. were d not you know able the... to get anywhere near as through this stuff as we wanted to do but we just got you know, both uh, too tired i think do mm. you know the movie cynic yeah yeah i'm gonna be on his show on friday by oh the nice way. yeah you told me you told me all right so guys go check yeah. that out movie cynic go check that out spoon will be over there um, otherwise, I have actually finished my, my script, uh, it's long as fuck, I did mention it earlier, we'll go over it, uh, I'll go over it with Bill, I'll probably send it to, to Scrump as well. Also, also chat, I, I, don't have a, I don't have a video planned tomorrow, so give me a topic and I'll do a video on it. Alright, sure. Uh, if you guys want to give, uh, Spoon any kind of advice on what he should cover next. Either way though, guys, uh, I'm heading out for the night, because I'm tired as fuck. Uh, I think Spoon is as well, we're both getting tired. Too much. Man, dude, it's only 11.30. We're getting old. But, uh, we're getting My old and we're headed out. 5.30. Yeah, Fuck I've been up you. all. I've been up all. I've been up all day too, alright? So, uh, <laughs> we'll try to stay up later and be more active in the evenings next time, guys. Uh, cheers. See you next <laughs> week. Uh, and actually, I'll see you guys all tomorrow if you want to come over on uh, Geeks and Gamers Tabletop to see us uh, play D&D uh, uh, &D 5th Edition over there. Either way. And then go check out uh, Spoon's channel to see what he's going to be up to. Alright? Take care, everybody. Um...